Welcome to the stream everyone. I hope you guys are having a good day. I just, I actually went on this game last night just for a little bit, just to collect some extra treasure so that we can rank up and actually continue with the storyline because I've already like, I would say I've completely explored the first island. Like I feel pretty happy with like what I've done. I completed these challenges as well, the intermediate ones. They're just for like stealing from monsters and doing Doing treasure visions which I think we did about half of when we were playing last time so I did do quite a few towards it but didn't quite get to finish it off so right now I'm on the the first island which I would say we we fully explored except for the bottom layer because the bottom layer is too high level for me but the top layer I've definitely fully explored so <laughs> I was just hunting for treasure in this kind of area you can see in the top left my treasure collection is actually full I just need to to turn it in and that should rank us up because I'm really close to getting 10 million in my vault which will get me gang rank 4 so I'll be able to actually continue so that'll be really really awesome. Hello Drake, Mega Monster, Matthias, Rain and Evie, welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're doing your countdown. I was five minutes early. Yes! What do you mean big sad? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're currently watching England versus France. Oh, who do you think is going to win? Which do you think is the better team? I, I know nothing about football so I have no clue <laughs> but who knows I hope your day's going well it's not bad thank you multi is naughty playing this off screen I only did like maybe like 40 minutes where I was just hunting for treasure and that was it so it wasn't really like that much <laughs> but I did do a little bit just to speed it up because I want to do some story today <laughs> want to train some more do you good I've got a new challenge ready for you you got another challenge uh, are you just meaning this one right yeah just turn these quests in they're just little challenges. This is intermediate, so it's probably going to give me some more as well. I do like how you can do these challenges anywhere. Like, you can just go to any island and fulfill the challenges, which is kind of cool. Completed another challenge, have you? You're coming along in leaps and bounds. Mind you, you've a way before you stand comparison with a certain Sylphanian who, in spite of being a mere monster, rose to become a captain. Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> I think you are. Anyway, you may recall me speaking of someone I once served. Well, he was no ordinary master, I can assure you. He was, in fact, the king of Sylphania. We've met the princess, but I don't know anything about the king. His majesty saw something in me. He trusted me to hunt for treasure on his behalf. In fact, his majesty was the one who made me a captain and put me in charge of this expedition. He is sadly no longer with us. Ah, he died. Human lifespans being what they are. Nevertheless, his legacy lives on all these years later. Princess Animone is his granddaughter, you see. Listen to me withering on. This is what it's like to get old. It will happen to, to you one day, you know. I'm already getting old. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yep, that's what happens. The older you get, the more you talk, apparently. <laughs> no, I've always been this way. <laughs> no matter how old I no matter how old I am. <laughs> if you ever feel the need for some more training, just let me know. Okay. Ooh, I got some some like st like uh, meat thing and a chimera wing. Chimera wing's really good, actually. Chimera wings can save you in a pinch, so I'm happy to to get some of those. But that's really the only reward. All right. So next quest is acquire medals, unleash the dragon, practice using the wide wild side ability. I don't even know what that is. Charge your dagger gauge and show the world your wild side. Do it five times. Is that not and isn't that the same thing as unleashing the dragon uh maybe i don't know scout some monsters okay so that's my tasks let me know when you've taken care of everything all right so let me just quickly go and see if we've actually done anything on these i'm guessing not but i don't know i don't understand the difference between this wild side and unleashing the dragon i thought they were the same thing <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something here. I have no idea. Um, I also do have daily quests. I don't know if I have to pick them up or anything, but obviously they have reset now. So I'm not sure. Are these the ones? So use your wild side ability, view a treasure vision, acquire some treasure, swap places with your sibling, and complete all daily quests. So the daily quests are really easy. Oh yeah, I picked up this. One of the enemies dropped a treasure map. Um, it's in the Hinter Quarters. I don't know, like, 
I've never done one before, so that's a that's a new thing. I've not actually done it, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing there. But I'm, I don't know how I've, like it's different from the treasure visions because we got the treasure map and the treasure visions. So I don't know the difference between those just yet. But I'm gonna head. We're gonna head home because like uh, yeah, I've, I'm already full on the treasures from when I was exploring earlier. So I want to turn those in and rank up my my gang level that would be awesome i'm looking forward to seeing what happens next in the story actually hello ikea welcome to the stream are you doing well big pig equals much bacon <laughs> you're still hungry after those after that weird pig thing <laughs> i guess i don't even know Mossy, i wish i went your route and got the digital deluxe edition instead of the hard copy oh you missed out on the pets because you get more bonuses including that jaw golem and the tiger. Yeah, I I did luck out with the, the little creatures here. They are really cool, right? I think you can get the the same like abilities on different animals. Like riding on the on this kitty, I'm pretty sure you can do that with the the like the little pig creature, you know, the little pig creature with a little hat on. I'm pretty sure you can still do that with other creatures, but I guess like yeah, it is kind of kind of cool getting getting these ones as well but that sucks is there no way of you like upgrading or anything can you not like can you not buy the upgrade on the store because I saw that you could buy it separately as well I'm so sure you can you can maybe you could check the PlayStation store to see if you can just like get the additional upgrade because it might be possible for you to just grab it like that oh they're stealing my treasure how dare you? What do you? Oh, you just just took out just took out my my tiger. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, I need to revive, but I can't click on him because there's like treasure everywhere. Um, I need to revive you because I can't pick it up without reviving him. Oh my god, this is annoying. I can't target him. How do I target him? This is so annoying. I think I might have lost my treasure at this point. Get rid of that muddy hand, will you? I'm trying to do something over here. Oh my gosh. This is so irritating. Revive, revive. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I gotta quickly get him up and pick up all the treasures. Like, fast. I hope I've got enough time to do this. Because they only stay there for a certain amount of time. That was really annoying because he was, like, in such a position... That I couldn't even pick up the darn treasures. <laughs> That's so annoying. Alright, I got three of them. There's just one left. I don't actually know where it is. Where is the other one? Uh, oh, it's there. It's there. Okay, I got it. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's stressful when that happens. There's so much to, like, so much to gather. Uh, I could probably do with some, some life as well, actually. Uh, here we go. Let's heal ourselves back up. That was a stressful situation. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yeah, uh, this is why I just want to get out of here. I just want to go back to base and take the loot home because it's very dangerous being out here. <laughs> I don't like it too much. Alright, come on friends, let's go. Hopefully, like, no more of my creatures go down because, yeah, <laughs> it's dangerous stuff very dangerous stuff i hope i'm going the right way but i think i am not too sure it gets a bit confusing around these areas i think i have to go upstairs to get out of this island so let's head this way and hope i don't get destroyed by any crazy creatures what are you doing just casted something on me but i don't know what they did <laughs> i have no idea so apparently uh different monsters can hold a different amount of treasures as well in this game so you could get a monster that could only hold one treasure or you could get a monster that could hold like two or three it like depends so that's why there's that thing in the corner 
so it could be more depending like the little icons in the corner could be more depending on like what monsters you have which i didn't realize i actually didn't know it worked like that so that's kind of cool okay let's get out of here oh my god oh yeah i got a hundred gold ratio for these islands as well which is really good i have to say that's that's pretty awesome all right so we're going back we're going back home hey frost Air, welcome to the stream how are you doing your ruby golem so cool <laughs> he is pretty awesome have you got the game frost I figured that you were already playing this game so I know how much you're into your dragon quest <laughs> I think you can still download them as DLC yeah I was thinking that you could do that I saw a weird video from game theory's channel calling a bee a fish I actually did see that one in my sub box as well I haven't watched it though <laughs> but I was mildly like intrigued <laughs> Uh, that would be cool. Thanks for reminding me to check the eShop. Yeah, I hope you find it. I hope you managed to find it. What did I get? I got a card. I didn't know you could get cards, actually. Sublime Strength card. I wonder if that's real. <laughs> Is that real? Is that a real collectible game card? Like, I have no idea. Hey, Alice. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. I got a couple of those treasure maps too. Let me tell you, the bosses at the end of them are tough. Oh, really? At least the one I did, he kicked my butt. I actually died in this game. I have not died yet, but I almost died yesterday um, because I got, like, teamed up. By, like this, There was this gold golden golem, and he, like, kicked my butt, and all my treasure fell all over the floor, and I lost, like, half my treasure, and I nearly died. So <laughs> I've nearly died as well, but just once so far. <laughs> It can be a bit challenging, for sure. Hey, important exporter, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day today. The monsters also have different rarities, bronze, silver, gold. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen that in the recruitment list. Bamboo bopper statue. <laughs> he looks, um, interesting. <laughs> we got another card over here. Seeds of Salvation card. Sweet. I'm sure there is a card game for Dragon Quest, isn't there? It's kind of cool that they included the card games as well. Oh look, it's a bodkin from Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> the little funny bodkins. I wonder if they're in other Dragon Quest games. I have no idea. Another card there. Very nice. So how much money did I get right there? I got 1.4 million for that. Not too bad. Not too bad. And um, yeah, somebody's polished. They always polish your little things afterwards i think oh it wasn't a polish i just oh this was the the food i got from the captain for doing the challenges <laughs> right <laughs> that's what i got there are we ready to rank up let's rank up let's do it finally gonna hit gang rank four so i was on three so we're now able hunters i'm getting there slowly <laughs> yay a Diplo bot has arrived at the base? What the heck is a Diplo bot? Speak to him in front of the station and he'll help, help connect you with other... Oh, it's like online. You can play this game online? I didn't even know you could play this online, actually. That's kind of cool, I have to say. I don't know how that works in this game, <laughs> but I don't know. A Dragon Quest X monster. Ah, I see. It's real, but not real. It's an in-game card game from Dragon Quest Rivals. Oh, have you played it? Is it a mobile game? Or is it like, I'm guessing it would be, right? So I've never seen a Dragon Quest card game on consoles, unless it's on PC. But I don't know, I've never even heard of it. You figured, right? I wanted it physical, but it's not easy to get in Mexico, Mexico stores. Pokemon is since it's widely popular, but this one is still not in stock. Oh, really? Oh, I can't wait to get this and get to where Mosey is when I have time. So you got it, but you're just waiting for the physical. Does that mean you got digital and you're going to get physical as well? You're going to get both? <laughs> Bodkins are from Dragon Quest 4. Oh, so they're in Dragon Quest 4 as well. Haven't played that one. I'm going to definitely play the, the H2 whatever it's called remake thing that they're doing for the Dragon Quest games, you know, in the like Octopath Traveler style. I'm very much looking forward to those. I think they're coming next year, right? I don't think we have a date for it that yet though, but I'm looking forward to those too. Um, what are we, what's going on here? Do you know, I can't quite believe how much tre treasure you've collected. I know, right? I've collected quite a lot. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to introduce you to someone. He's a very dear friend of mine. Oh yeah? Oh, is this the bot thing? I like the little bow tie and the little hat 
<laughs> it's a gentleman bot. <laughs> he's called Alan, <laughs> and he's a gentleman. <laughs> Mr. Houston provided data on your gang. Potential for assistance detected. I can connect you to other gangs. Right, this is the online Please stuff. I me. see. I might actually try it out, just to see what it's like. You can now interact with other gangs. Okay. Cool stuff. Very cool. <laughs> Just digital for the time being. Ah, uh, I see. So have you played much? Have you have you had a chance to explore the world? The tutorial's really long, isn't it? It's like three hours long. It's crazy. <laughs> have you gotten past the like tutorial? Dragon Quest Rivals was a mobile game. I thought so, so I'd never heard of it. Because <laughs> I would have played it otherwise. You cannot play it anymore as the service is down. Even when you could, it was Japan exclusive. Ah, oh, there's so many like Japan exclusive games <laughs> like it's cool that they're bringing like some of them over like recently like uh, there is a fatal frame game I think that was Japan only but now they're bringing it over hopefully they'll bring more stuff over from from Japan this is why I want to learn Japanese so I can play Japan only games <laughs> I would love to do that um, Alan knows all about diplomacy and inter-gang relations right cool stuff we'll, we'll talk to him sure I have a message from the foreman. As you know, he was taking a look at that door down in the snarl. Oh yeah, we need to get through that door. He says he's managed to get it open. We should head over there and find out more post haste. Aha! Mia and the others head to the snarl to find the foreman. Am I going down right now? What if I didn't want to? What if I wanted to do my own thing? I'm being forced to, the, to do the storyline. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it just like it just takes me there without my consent. <laughs> Hello there. I managed to break the door down as you can tell. You certainly made light work of that door, Mr. Foreman. Now let's see what's on the other side. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess I'm going for it. <laughs> I saw your stream where you died and it deterred me from fighting that gold golem. I did manage to take him down in the end. Then I just powered up and killed him. He's not that hard. I think like I don't know, I just must have just like taken damage from like prior fights and I just didn't heal myself and then when the gold golem came out it was a bit stronger so he just wiped me out. <laughs> so I think that's like what happened. I think it's so probably my own fault for just like not paying attention. But you can definitely get in very tricky situations in this game if you don't watch your health of your monsters. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. <laughs> it seems to be a teleportal, I wonder where it leads. Just be sure to look before you leap. I don't doubt there'll be treasure on the other side, but it could be dangerous. Mm hmm. I think dr um, when Dragon Quest comes out, I will get a. F oh, that's the MMO, isn't it? The MMO game. I will get a physical, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> you just want to have like a Dragon Quest shrine <laughs> with all the physical games and everything. I bet that looks so cool. <laughs> Play Asia is the place I'm hoping to use for Japan imports. Apparently many games have an English language setting. It will just have the Japanese VAs. Really? I didn't actually know that. That's cool. I thought that it was just like Japan and Japan only. Like I didn't think they had translations for them, but that's kind of cool. It looks like the foreman's found something. Let's take a closer look when you have a minute. Okay. So it's just telling me, it's just telling me I can go down there, but I don't actually have to go down there right now. I don't, I don't think. I kind of wanted to check out the online to see like what that was like. Oh, there's treasure down here as well. I'll take it. A pellet formula. Nice. Medium difficulty. I don't know what that means. We got some sanguinite down here as well. That's to repair the train stations, I believe. And there are some random monsters down here. What are these guys doing? I wonder what's underneath all of this. Well, only one way to find out. I'll start digging. You go off and amuse yourself for a while. I have this cleared before you know it. If you don't feel like tackling all those stairs, select go to squ square from the menu and you'll be back up top in no time flat. Hmm. There's actually been people saying that they think that this game will come to mobile. I like, I wonder if like that's, that's true. <laughs> like, I don't know. Cause like the menus are like really simple looking. Right? And a lot of people have said that they think they've done it this way, so it can come to mobile. But like, I don't know, that'd be a bit of a kick in the teeth, don't you think? Because you like paid 50 quid for this game for it to go mobile. That would be kind of crazy, but I don't know, it's possible, I guess. 
Ancient runes appear to have been carved into the monuments, but me, I can't make heads or tail of them. I still don't know what those things mean exactly. I have no idea. Um, so he said something about he do, that I can go back to the square if I don't want to walk up all the stairs, but like, is there really that many stairs? Like... There's not even that many stairs to walk up, so I don't I don't know what the big deal is there. <laughs> I guess like it's a nice shortcut though, I suppose. <laughs> so that's kinda cool. I wanna go find oh yeah, I wanna pick up my dailies as well. We definitely wanna pick up my daily quests. That would be cool. I would have preferred a monsters game. I know so many people wanted the monsters game. I think I Are think there's still gonna be a monsters game. I don't think that the fact that they've released this game is going to take away from the fact that there's a monsters game. I think we're still going to get a monsters game. I think what happened is like, I think because this kind of is similar to monsters games, right? In, in a way with like all the recruiting of the monsters and stuff. So maybe this was meant to be the monsters game and then like something went, went wrong and they just turned it into something else. Maybe that's what happened. I honestly have no idea. Um, oh, it seems I've already done this quest here. So I can turn that one in. So that's cool. But I reckon we're still going to get... A monsters game. I, I do think we will. The mobile game sounds interesting. Do you think so? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. What is... Is that a Draki? What are you doing up there? <laughs> what on earth is going on? Why is he just hanging upside down? Does he have something wrong with him? <laughs> I've got like a weird Draki in my town apparently. Where's that robot? Oh, he's over here. I want to go check out the online for this game. I'm super curious actually. Let's explore it. Remember me? I am Alan. I can connect you to other gangs. You hide selected treasure in selected place and other gang seeks it out. Oh, it's like hide and seek. Interesting. Okay. Discover new treasure and interact with other players in gangs. You know what? I don't actually think I've got Nintendo online still. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, I'll try. See what it does. Yeah, I don't think... I uh, don't think I don't think I can. I don't think so anyway. What is all of this? <laughs> I don't even know. Let me just um just a sec, just in case it comes up with something something on my account. Because <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna do here. Uh Okay. It's just a privacy notice, I think. Network guidelines. Okay. I've agreed. I don't know if it's gonna let me. Uh, I know you can't see right now. Let me just try this. I don't think it's gonna gonna let me. I think it's gonna say no. Oh wait, it said I successfully connected. I don't know how, but apparently I have. <laughs> Maybe you don't need Nintendo Online for this. I have no idea. <laughs> No clue. To start, try hiding some of your treasures. Its value will go up if you do. It's probably best to leave the base and look for a good hiding place. You can hide your treasure on any island you like. When you find a good spot, open the map, move the cursor to your position and set it as favourite hiding place. Once you have some good hiding places to choose from, speak to Alan back at, at base. Pick one of the treasure trays you'd like to hide then select a hiding place for it from your selection of candidates. So I can go and hide some treasure or something, then I can like mark it or something. I don't know. Data banks Sometimes you'll find replica treasures on your adventures. Replicas are copies of other players' treasure troves. Okay, replicas won't add to your vault value, but they can be sold for gold. Sell the highest valuable replicas you find to pocket more gold coins. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I I think you don't need Nintendo Online for this because I'm pretty sure mine expired um, and I never actually updated it. So I guess I guess that's just kind of cool actually. <laughs> so it seems like it's letting me do it. Let's see. You can only get the collector's edition of this game in Japan as well. So weird. Hmm, I didn't know that. What comes with the collector's edition in Japan? So I've not actually seen it. Does it come with like any like little statues or anything? That'd be kind of cool. Trying to heal your party and yourself while in the middle of a boss fight is quite challenging in this game or so I've learnt. Yeah, I guess so. Because, like, it takes a while, doesn't it? It does take a while. Dragon Quest XI and 
9 and 11 for the 3DS didn't come out for mobile and they very well could have. Oh, so maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I know a lot want Builders 3. Yeah, Builders so popular, so they would do really well if they if they made a Builders 3. Taking a break, Harvestella and back to Rune Factory. I did see you talking about Rune Factory in the Discord earlier, actually. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of cool. It's like one of my favorite games. <laughs> it's cool to see you guys still playing it. Uh, what are we doing? Once you've chosen a hide in place, you have to upload it for other players to find. The treasure will stay in your possession, so don't hesitate to hide your prize pieces. Okay, so can I not? I think I have to, to do it. Um, let's seek treasure. Please input text string. Please enter some information about the treasure you want to find. Selecting done will connect you to the internet. Some treasures may not be able to be found if a quest is in progress. What do you mean? Information about the gang ID and pass? I don't know. The combination, I don't, oh so you actually need, so I actually need to know somebody's like gang name and then a password. I think, can you not just, can you not just go random? A hidden, a hidden treasure will be downloaded at random. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yeah. Let's just do that. I found some Japanese person's treasure. <laughs> it's hidden in the swoop swamp, apparently. Will you be able to find it? I've never been there. I don't even like know where that is. You can now find other gangs' treasures all over the world. Rival gangs' treasure will be acquired in replica form. Fortune Finder is not required. Special lights indicate treasure locations. Good luck and happy hunting. That was not what I was expecting from the online. So the online is not... You can't like... You can't actually play with people then. So you just kind of like, you know, find other people's treasures that they've left behind. So it's kind of not really online really, is it? It's kind of like half online. If even that. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, like... That's a thing that we can do sometime, I suppose. I'm not going to worry about it too much now. I was just really curious about what, what it actually was. I wonder if you can hide treasure in the base. You probably can't, right? Probably has to be on like one of the islands or something like that. Let's go into like this snarl place because I'm kind of curious about it actually. When you locate the spot that the treasure map tells you about, you have one of those portals. Ah, I see. It was originally planned to be a monsters game. Yeah, seems like they had some like weird development things going on with this game. <laughs> Haven't played Harvestella, but loved Rune Factory 5. Yeah, Rune Factory 5 was good. I actually have made a bit of progress on Harvestella recently. I managed to do my first sea sight at long last. It took me a really long time to, to do that. I was struggling to find time for it. There seems to be like more side quests than main story in Harvestella. <laughs> there's so many side quests. I just like, like everywhere I look, there's like some kind of like side quests going on or something. I hope Sony doesn't hog Dragon Quest 12. All consoles deserve a chance. I hope so too. I'm meant to be level 10. What level am I? I'm 16. I'm way above this actually. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do it. That's cool to know we don't actually need Nintendo Online to mess with that hide and seek feature. Yeah, you, you don't seem to need it. I'm positive that I don't have Nintendo Online. So I was actually gonna get it and I never did. I'm pretty sure I don't have it anyway. <laughs> I see and or talk about games often sparks that urge to return again and complete my master plans. <laughs> Are you really restarting all over again with Rune Factory 5? Guess what I named my name for my treasure hunters. I have no idea. What did you name them? <laughs> did you name them after your name? Good afternoon Rave. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. All right so we're in this weird snow place. Uh, I go to the next level? Do I just hop back in? I actually don't know. Didn't seem to be anything here. Ah! Is it like just a big wave of monsters or something? Go go go! It's like kind of weird in this game that you're basically kind of useless in this game. Like your monsters just do everything for you. <laughs> like, I could just sit back and do nothing whilst um, all my critters just uh, fight here. So yeah, this is kind of just like a, a wave thing where I just fight a ton of creatures from the looks of it. <laughs> but that's okay. Go my little crazy creatures. Ow. Do, do you mind? Can't even move. 
I think I've been poisoned as well. That didn't work out too well, huh? <laughs> the pellets are, are pretty good though. I do like the pellets. All right, to the next level. I hardly ever do loads of side quests. Oh really? There is a ton in Harvestella and I think that they are worth it because you do get a ton of money and you get like a ton of seeds and stuff like that for doing them. So I have been doing all of them. So they really do give great rewards and has allowed me to get all the livestock. I've already got, I got all the, all the chickens and all the, all the like, the little, the little sheep things that you can get. Uh, so I think I've got all the livestock so far. I do wish there was a bit more like interactability with the actual livestock though. You can pet them. But like that's about it. I mean, I don't know. I just they just it just seems like really simple with the way it's done. And like sometimes, like in bad weather conditions, the the animals go inside the little like shelters that you've made for them, and like you can't even go inside and like see them. So it kind of kind of sucks in that way. I don't think the focus was on the animals and the farming. <laughs> it was definitely like on the RPG elements. The bosses in Harvestella are very cool though. Like they actually have mechanics to them and it really reminds me of the way they do bosses in Final Fantasy XIV. It's actually really cool. Bosses are definitely a highlight for Harvestella. I really like the bosses and you can actually die really easily as well. As they have like, um, like special moves that if you don't do the mechanics properly, you'll like basically get murdered. So <laughs> it's actually really cool. I do like the bosses in Harvestella, they're definitely the best thing for me so far. Uh, a powerful charge surges through your body, you and your allies have become electrified. Electrified? Is that bad? I don't know if that's bad or good, I don't know. I guess I'll heal myself though, so I'm a bit low here. What am I supposed to- oh, do I just go ahead? I don't know if that was a buff. I think that was a buff or something. Well, I thought it was bad at first, but I think it's actually okay. How many- Laws has this place got? I'm on level 7. There's a golden dragon. How cool. I would actually love to recruit that. I got the, uh, I got a blue dragon, but a golden one though? Shiny draggling has been scouted. Cool. Looks like I might be able to actually get that one in my team after all, which would be kind of cool actually. I think your let's play has confirmed what I'm willing to pay for it. The livestock are cute though. They are, they are cute. But yes, I I probably wouldn't pay full price for it. <laughs> like it's definitely one of those games that you probably want to wait for a sale on for sure. It's not a bad game, but it's very slow and I don't know, it's just kind of simple in some ways. It's not bad though. I've been enjoying it. I got it for my for my birthday, so it hasn't been too bad. So that's cool. All right, let's take down the slimes. The dread Draki over here looks super evil. Evil Draki, come back here. Where are you going? Uh, I should probably get some pellets out to heal my little my little dude. Spot, Spot needs some help. There you go, Spot. Enjoy, enjoy your health. You can sense the presence of a powerful enemy. Oh, we're gonna have a boss fight. All right, let's do it. I'm ready for a boss fight. Why is there this random portal down in, in, in the basement of my, of my base anyway? <laughs> I have so many questions. Golden Goliath. This just seems really random, but <laughs> okay. Go, go, murder him. Let's get some pellets out here as well. I'm gonna use a bang pellet. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that damage. That was some good damage right there. Someone did some good damage. I don't know if it was me or if it was the monsters, but he is dead. That was easy. That was incredibly easy. Have you found any of the Harvest Harvestella bosses difficult? I've only really done one. I've done Lorelei and that's the only one I did. And if I, like, it was the, the mechanic where you have to defeat all the boolers quickly. And if you don't do it, then you're pretty much dead <laughs> so yeah that's the only one I've done so I need to I need to progress a bit I've mostly been doing side stuff honestly you defeated the golden, golden goliath yay they got king she slimes in this game yes they do they do have they do have those the little orange dudes um I took three minutes and I get some kind of reward I don't know what that is Easy. oh I get a jade slime medal as well very nice. The enemy seems to have dropped something. Mia requires five chunks of sanguinite. Thank you very much. I could always do with some of those. <laughs> so that's cool. 
GG multi. That was so easy. I was like six levels above the recommended level though, so I guess I, I did a little hey. bit too much exploration or something. I have no idea. Hey, oh, it's Eric. How are you doing? Did you want to like join me or something? <laughs> I heard you were going to see what's going on on the other side of the portal. Well, I'm coming too. Hmm? Whoa, that's a neat looking treasure chest. Let's get it open. Yeah, let's do some lock picking. I love if you just kick it and it just opens. <laughs> Meow. This is another one of those stone tablets. Found another one. Here's hoping it can teach us something about the seven stones. I hope so too. Alright. Hopefully it says something important. Something helpful. The amber horn rests with a red-hued colossus. The king of the fiery mountain. So we have to go to the Red Ridge Cannon? Canyon, I think it's called? Is it over there? It's about another dragon stone, the amber horn to be precise. The fiery mountain, the cinderback ridge. Oh, it's wherever I was close. <laughs> I knew exactly what place it was. I literally just explored a tiny bit of that area at the end of the last stream. So I knew it was there. Just couldn't remember the name entirely. <laughs> and we can find this red hued colossus. The amber horn will be ours. I'm sure it won't be quite that easy, but if it gets us a dragon stone, it'll be worth it. All right. A strange stone tablet that bears an engraving about the amber horn. The king of the fiery mountain. All right. I wonder what the boss is going to be like there. I'm excited for the boss. Hopefully there will be one down there, but I'm sure there will. <laughs> Thought you'd have done the spring one by now. I know I've been like, I've been really slow with it. I've been finding it hard to find time to, to play it. So yeah, I've been taking a really long time. <laughs> For me, I might be because I did spring, winter, then summer rather than the obvious. Or yeah, I went for like the middle quest. I don't know why it just kind of turned out that way <laughs> for some reason. I'll probably do the spring one next, and then I'll do the winter one afterwards. But I did do it in a weird order for whatever reason. You have discovered new information about the giant's horn quest. Uh, yeah, sure. I've set it as active. Why not? Okay, it's been set as your current objective. Sweet. Cool. A star of the seven shards, one of my favourite MacGuffin tropes is like, yeah, the seven stone thing. It's a very, like, yeah, uh, you know, cliche trope thing. It's like, they have it with Final Fantasy as well. Finding the crystals, finding the stones. It's a very, like, you know, generic, simple kind of storyline. But it's more about the gameplay for this game, I think. Um, I think it's just kind of addicting collecting all the the treasures i don't know i really like it i was actually surprised how how much i was into it i don't know how far that's gonna go though i don't know if like you know like a few hours down the line or something if i'm gonna be bored with doing it i don't know but right now i'm actually really enjoying this game so <laughs> yeah it's really fun i really like it hey where did the ice golem come from i didn't see you here who are you hello oh it's the person I linked with. Milton shows you one of its gang's most prized treasures. Oh yeah? What's your most prized treasure? What is that? What the heck is that? It's like some weird bug. Stuck in a rock. <laughs> Wiggles whatchamacallit. What the heck is that? <laughs> Appearance in... It shows what Dragon Quest it appears in as well. That's cool. Memento of a mighty and much worshipped warrior by the name of Wiggles. <laughs> Wiggles the warrior. I gotta play that Dragon Quest. <laughs> There's like seven, isn't it? Dragon Quest seven? I think that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, say thanks for being shown the treasure by giving as many likes as you can. Likes? Wait, what? Start? Oh, okay, here you go. I'll give you a ton. Here, take all my likes. <laughs> 127 of them. You're welcome. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so weird. Melson has given you a replica treasure as a sil souvenir. Nice Their monster has now left me as island. Uh, okay. <laughs> See you later then. <laughs> I just gave him my likes and he just, he just, he just liked it. <laughs> Rip Wiggles, poor Wormy will be missed. I have no idea what's going on there. That was so weird. But all right then. Um, so I guess we just, um, actually, I'm going to go check the recruitment board 
and then I think I'll go out and see if we can plunder some treasure. Like true pirates. are. <laughs> I probably will go to the cinder back area because that's where I was exploring. I didn't quite get around to finish exploring that area. All right, so what potential new recruits have we got here? Let's have a look. Wow, there's a lot of golden ones going on. I have to say there's loads of them. Um, have I got any ready that I parted that I can do? I don't think there is, actually. No, I don't think there is. There is a lot of gold ones, though. I really want this golden dragon because he just looks awesome. And I'm going to try to keep as many of these golden ones as possible. I wouldn't mind having a king slime, too, actually. I don't really want these little mud hands. They're the only ones I can recruit, sadly. So I'm not going to bother with that. Also, I want to add these new facilities. Um, don't know if any of them are in the the Cinder Back Ridge. Oh, so the pellet production one is somewhere in the Cinder Back Ridge. Ridge. So we'll try and search for that as well. That would be cool. Oh, we want to go and dispatch some monsters too. Oh, we can dispatch two teams now. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. Welcome back, Eric. Super success. Very nice. What do we get? Hopefully we get some awesome treasure. I got a random shell thing. Nice. <laughs> I think. Swishmelt Lakeside area. So that's where they went. All right. Nice. Very cool. And we are going to send them back out again. Select a destination. Where's a good place to send them? Let's send them to the Paytonoggin since there's quite a high golden ratio down there. So... Send those down. No, um, send out. Sure? Yes. There we go. And I got a second team as well. I don't know who's commanding the second team though. Let's do the second one. Form team. So who's the captain? Can it just be anyone? I guess it's just anyone. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll send out my little slime here. We'll send out this random mud hand. And... Um, I don't know. This Draki. Let's send out the Draki. There you go. That can be team number two. We're gonna to send go? them to... I guess one of these areas. Let's send them to the Cinderback Ridge. Send those guys sure? out. Off they go. I want all find. the treasures in the land. <laughs> all the treasures. You love it? Tropes is not necessarily generic because each one can have a unique storyline. That's also true. Uh, I haven't actually, what like, it? seen what the storylines of these areas are. Have you seen the, the pirates for this game? I actually really love the, the pirates. The uh, thunderous plunderers are really cool. I love the designs of the of the actual crew of like um, the silver bones skeleton dude and the rest of them look really fun. So I hope that there will be some kind of storyline with those pirates. Cool. There's a metal monster? Eric found a metal monster. Um, I, I don't know, like, if I can find it, I have no idea. <laughs> I've actually found one. Does anyone have a spare apple in? Oh, I don't know if I have an apple in. I'll have a look later to see if I've got one, um, but I'll, I'll have a look. Morsi, you missed my team name. It's Team Thwack. <laughs> I like that. All treasure hunters with attitude and cunning knowledge. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's awesome. Like, um, that's a skill that one of the characters the does, right? I remember in Heroes, that, that dude, that, like, tall dude. Oh, man, I've forgotten his name. He always wears green. <laughs> I can't remember what he's called. But he had some, like, he was like a buff dude. He like buffed your team and he had the thwack skill as well. I remember him. He was so funny. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we're going to the Cinderback Ridge, I guess. Do I go from the train? I'll go from the train. Let's go from the train. Why not? But yes, we will see. Let's see if we can s explore some more. Kirio, that was it. Holy moly, it's been a long time since I played Dragon Quest Heroes. I could not remember his name. I know he's from an actual like mainline Dragon Quest game as well, but I haven't played it. So for me, it's remembering from Dragon Quest Heroes, which was like years ago, like a really long time ago, actually. So yeah, I could, could not remember for the life of me. All right, um, so let's go and explore this area a bit more as you can see I got a lot of the map that I haven't explored I want to go to this challenge area 
find the Red Hood Colossus. So this is my main story here. And I also have another uh, station thing to to discover as well. So that's cool. I think I'm just going to use my dragon to just like fly off the edge. So let's do that. And then we can get down to the bottom without taking any full damage, hopefully. Oh, there's a treasure chest here as well. So this would be a perfect place to land, I would say. I could have just taken the elevator, I guess, but I decided not to, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find the treasure. I didn't exactly know where it is, but around here somewhere. Oh, over here. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Hopefully it's a golden one. It should be a golden one, actually, since we're using the fortune finder. So it should be. All right. Let's see, so it's on the edge of a cliff, near some kind of bridge. There's a bridge right here, so probably like here somewhere, I'm assuming. You find some treasure? Uh, oh, it's here. I see it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a really easy one to find. <laughs> Kirill from Dragon Quest 4. Yeah, it was a knack thing for him to use Thwack in the original NES. I don't remember if he still does it in the oh, DS remake. Valuable. I didn't play the DS remake, so I have no idea. That's why they parody that in Dragon Quest Monsters and Dragon Quest Heroes. Ah, I see. I see, yeah, he was he was cool. I don't actually think I liked using him that much for the combat, but he was a funny character. I liked his character, though. But he was, um, I don't know, I preferred... Like, I liked using Elena, I think she was called. The girl with the fists. I like using her. She was, she was cool. Let's take down a king she slime. Let's do this. Come on, friends. Beat him up. These aren't too strong. So we should be okay. Though it is actually quite higher, higher level than me. But that's okay. I got a slime crown. Oh, there is a silver chest over here as well. Let's go grab this one. We're in like a real lava area, so probably have to be careful not to fall into that. Probably murder me. I don't know. Probably hurts you, but I've not tried it, so <laughs> who knows? Alrighty. Whoa, cool. I got some... Oh, that's probably a card. That looks like a card. Anyways, where should I explore first? Let's go up the stairs. Let's go this way. I think... Actually, I don't want to go towards... I don't want to go towards that just yet. I want to go to one of the smaller objectives so it does seem a bit further away i want to go pick up the challenges because i'm sure there's going to be some challenges in this area so i want to try go towards those if i can i love those flowers those flowers are really pretty i have to say let's grab these i like how you can pick these things up without having to unmount you can just pick them up and stuff which is pretty cool i don't know if i can make it over there actually we'll try but I'm not sure. It looks a bit too high, doesn't it? Come on, make it. No, I'm falling down. <laughs> Sad times. Oh, oh God, the enemies are down, down here are really strong. Oh, no, they're red. That's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> I didn't know they were so high. They're like level 28. What is going on there? We got a treasure around here as well, which I'm trying. To oh, it's right there. It's literally right there. Very nice. Let's dig this one up as well. Elena is amazing. She's she's cool, yes. She's a cool character. I like her a lot. Ta-da-da! -da! I got another prize. Oh, that looks like a heel slime, doesn't it? <laughs> that definitely was a heel slime. So that's cool. I don't know if I want to be here. Why is this area so high? Such a high level area. Uh, let's see. I'm going to head this way because I think this is going back a bit. Oh god, level 27. I've come to an area that's too high for me. No, I'm just gonna like run past everything. I don't think I want to be here <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I didn't realize there were such high level monsters down this way. So that's, that's bad, very bad. I love that there's hoodlums down here though. Very cool. There is a chest down there, but I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping to, you know, smell the flowers here. Very dangerous zone. Overgrown onions. Okay. Let's continue up this way, maybe, and avoid the monsters. So I'm only, like, level 19. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to fight that. My monsters are just going for it. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop trying to murder, murder those. Uh, we're gonna wait here until morning. Maybe if it's morning, there won't be so high or something. <laughs> you like to play it risky. I don't want to be in this area. <laughs> I was thinking if I slept, oh no, they're still high level. No, they're still high level. I thought they were just like high level because it was nighttime or something, but nope, might not work that way. But I'm really close to this objective here. Like really close, it's up there. How on earth do you get up there? I have no idea how you're supposed to go about that, but... Oh my gosh, that's really high. There must be a way to get higher up there though like to see what this objective is though it might be a little bit too high level for me i'm not too sure but there is a there is a thing up here can you throw me up come on throw me up throw me up oh i nearly made it oh that's so close oh i did it okay cool um it's a little bit lower level up here actually it's not as bad i could probably take those but maybe not the red stuff <laughs> I don't know how to get up higher. I hope I can figure out a way. Hopefully there is. Looks valuable. Yay! I got another treasure. Very nice. Okay, let's use some pellets on these guys. Yeah, we can take these. We we can take these. I'm sure of it. Uh, I'm gonna take this crag pellet here. I have to help him out because these monsters are a little bit higher. Ooh, those guys want to join us. Nice. How on earth do you get up there? I have to find a way round. Hopefully there is one. Nice treasure chest here. Can I not open treasure chests? I guess you can't open treasure chests when you're when you're mounted. So that sucks. Oh, I found a medal. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Kirill simps for her. Oh yeah, he does. I hope eventually the amount of treasures that you can acquire and hold gets increased because getting the max you can hold goes quickly or maybe a way to drop them off by still being where you are. It depends on what monsters you are using because the monsters hold your treasure for you. I don't know if you've noticed. If you look at this flambe, you can see he's got two treasures above his head. What is that golem doing? <laughs> you just see his arms. You just see his arms and his head pop up. <laughs> That looks quite funny. My golem does weird stuff in this game. <laughs> He's quite amusing. But yeah, your monsters hold the treasure, so you would need to get stronger monsters that can hold more treasure, um, and that's how you would be able to increase the amount that you can hold, as far as I am aware. So yeah, that's a big thing, I think. Um, so I'm sure there is monsters that hold more stuff. Because my monsters seem to be able to hold two treasures each at the moment, so... I don't know if every monster, I don't know if like, you know, you know, the other weaker monsters can hold that many because these were obviously like DLC ones. So I don't know if they can hold more than what yours can, but maybe they can. I have no idea, but so far I seem to be able to hold two per monster, which is okay, I suppose. I'm going to get chucked up here as well. Maybe I can like glide across if I get higher. That's what I was thinking. Don't know, but we will see. All right, and then chuck me up here as well, up this way, and then I'm still not high enough, am I? How on earth? Oh, do you get up over there? Oh, over there. That's how you get up there. There's so many areas that you can like get to in this game. So many like different like floors and stuff like that. You really can explore in a lot of like cool little areas. I feel like I really liked that place in the first island. Where you climb up those little rocks and you like climb on top of the waterfall. I thought that was kind of cool actually. And there was like some special slimes up there. Kind of was a bit sad that I lost it all though. But hey, it's still cool that like it exists. <laughs> I'm off to have lunch. Okay, I hope you enjoy your, your lunch. I'll keep playing afterwards to not get spoiled. Right, yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna see any spoilers after all. I think this game is mostly like gameplay though. Like there was a lot of story at the beginning, but not as much anymore. It's mostly just like make your own adventure. Or at least it has been for a while. There's another problem I ran into. Hopefully you can have more monsters in your party because certain ones have abilities that you need, yeah. 
like those nighttime shadow guys allows you to get the chests you can't otherwise get. They can? What the stealth guys? I didn't know that actually. I haven't I did run into a purple chest. Is that what you mean? I was wondering how to how to open those, to be honest. I haven't worked that out yet. <laughs> so I didn't know that, to be fair. But yeah, only three abilities. Maybe there is a way to increase that. I'm not too sure. Can I try using this? I actually didn't know you could do this. I forgot you could do this, actually. I, like, rarely ever use these abilities. <laughs> Ground Slam. I've never seen these abilities. Let's try them out. Cool. I think that just KO'd it. Very nice. <laughs> Serpent Bone. So I knew you could use the ones, ones for the area, like, to explore places, like, getting like, you know, thrown, but I kind of forgot about the combat ones, <laughs> so my bad. It's okay though. Alright, let's sneak in here and grab the treasure. What do you mean I can't do that right now? Why not? Why can't I pick this up? What? Okay. That's weird. Am I like in combat or something? I'm a bit confused about why I can't do that. Is it because there's a treasure nearby? It's just like preventing me from getting it? That's really strange. I don't even know where the treasure is. I'll try like one more time, see. Wait, hang on. Examine. Perhaps if you crouch. Hmm, it's not that. I don't know why it's not letting me pick it up. What? Why not? <laughs> that makes no sense. Because you're crouching. Oh, I have to stand up. Oh. <laughs> Dull. <laughs> I was like, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to stand up. <laughs> oh, I see. I was like really confused for a sec. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Dull. <laughs> I thought like it was because like I was in combat or something. I didn't realize. Silly me. <laughs> I know that certain monsters have more treasure slots than others. Ah, I see. You can't be crou crouching when you're trying to get the chest that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise. <laughs> Dull. <laughs> Silly moment. Um, yeah, I don't know where this treasure is. Been like kind of running around the area trying to get it to pop up, but maybe it's below me. It could be below. I'm just gonna run over, well, glide over this way. So I want to get up to this objective and see what we got. Ooh, there's a silver one. Very nice. Can you chuck me up there? Cool stuff. And there's some little item there as well. There is so many items to collect in this game. I'm really happy that you don't have like inventory space or anything. Of course you have it with the treasure, but for everything else, like the materials and stuff like that in the world, you can just go crazy and just pick up as much as you want, which I'm really happy about because I don't like leaving stuff behind. <laughs> so like that's super cool. She slimes. There are level 6 up here. They're really weak up in this area for some weird reason. The level, the levels are like all over the place in this area. It's kind of weird. But okay then. We should be able to take out these Dracolites pretty easily. There we go. Any more? Are we good? Okay. I think we're good. Let's go travel up this way. Got some she slimes down there too. Alright, I think we made it somewhere. I don't know if this is a train station or a challenge. I think this might be a challenge area, actually. Hello! It's a big Ogun thing. Are you German? <laughs> it's a German, a German troll? Or an orc? What is this? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I am not finding any good ore here. What a time waste. Perhaps I am searching wrongly. Oh, hello. A small child. Can't you see I'm busy? Get in my way. And I crush you underfoot. You want that you speak with me, you say. What is it? I want you to make pellets. Oh, this is the pellet dude. Oh, okay. You want that I make pellets? Like for catapult? Such broken English. <laughs> I guess, like, it's because he's foreign. Then why did you not tell me sooner? I am Axel, dear Meister Mechanica. I think he's like a machinist or something. Making the pellets is a cake piece for me. And you must be one of the treasure hunters who is making their base in the old Transdraconic Railway Building, Oda? 
then perhaps I return to my old stomping ground to help you. But I first make a condition, okay? I want that you bring me some cinder block, which I could not find myself. Actually, somebody was in my stream saying that they couldn't find this, so I wonder if I will be able to find it. I know there is some on the cold shoulder, right here on the cinder back ridge, but the knowing and the finding are not the same, ja? What you are looking for is a rock with a dull silver shine. It is quite rare. You will know it when you see it. Bring me a piece and I will set up workshop. Um, okay. So, let's have a look at the quest a sec. What would this quest be? Dispatch quest? Is it, yes, dispatch quest. I think. Nope, it's not this one. This is something else. I don't even know. I got so many weird quests here. Shady shambles. There's so many. So many so many quests. Um restore no, those are the railway ones. Gang quest. It's a gang quest. There it is. Gang quest. Okay. Let's look at the map a second. See if it marked it on the map or anything. Speak to the station master. No. Cold shoulder. It's up here. Find a piece of cinder block for Axel. So it's over that way. So if I face this way, yeah, this way. Should get to it if I follow the follow this marker over here. So I really would love the pellet workshop in my base so I could just like craft my own pellets. That would be amazing because pellets are really good in this game and I wouldn't mind being able to just craft to my heart's content. That'd be awesome. So I just need to follow this round, right? And the monsters down here are pretty easy, so I don't think we'll have any problems taking down the monsters in this area. So at least uh, I don't have to worry about that regardless. <laughs> the NPC is awesome. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> I literally ran around with no pellets and had to use the dagger to kill everything. So um, thankfully I unlocked his shop. So beneficial. Yes, I, I'm i really looking forward to unlocking this thing. It does seem really good. <laughs> There's treasure chests in smaller crawl space areas that you can't get unless you use nighttime shadow stealth. But yeah, my slots are already taken by monsters that also have abilities. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen those those areas just yet. Or at least I haven't noticed them. So yeah, I don't know. But I suppose out of like the skills that I've got, I don't need the cat ability. You know, my saber cat. I probably don't need his ability because it's only a little mount thing that just kind of like helps me to get to areas faster but I need the golem and I need the glide for from the dragon because it's just really handy <laughs> so yeah those ones are really nice what are the other skills that you use the most then like what skills do you use the most I'm kind of curious big crater down here as well I'm surprised these enemies don't run away since they're like such a such a low level I did see there's a treasure chest somewhere around here not entirely sure where just yet another chest down here. I remember to stand up this time. <laughs> there you go. Frizz pellet. Very nice. All right. My the golems in this game make so much noise. <laughs> they're so they're so loud. They sound like old men. <laughs> they're like hmm hmm hmm. So weird. But I do like the little noises that they make in this game. They're kind of cool, actually. There you go. I got some funny bones. Where is this treasure? I have no idea. I've been running around for quite some time and still not found it. Just kind of get on this. I think I've gone too far up, too far away. Yep, I've gone too far away. Let's try on the other side. Maybe it's up on that little ledge. I'm gonna try, try up there, perhaps. Let's have a little look here. I wonder where it is. Can I jump up there? I want to jump up there. Mm, I might have to use the use the golem to... Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I wish I had a saber cat. He is cool. He is cool. But it's really just for looks, really, though, because you can get the same the same thing from the, the the little ham sandwich thing. You know, the ham sandwich monster? You can get the same ability from him. <laughs> but I guess, like, yeah, it is cool running around on the, the saber cat. <laughs> 
I use the slime to bounce up higher and the bat to glide and the armored knight monster he's just strong ah the armored knights I haven't really used those too much but I can imagine that they are quite quite sturdy like creatures <laughs> I do like the look of this game it's fun I like it it's like very very open just do what you want make your own little adventure kind of thing it's quite fun it's very mindless you don't have to think too hard when you play it either so you can kind of just you know just switch your brain off and <laughs> just play <laughs> which uh it's quite nice sometimes depends what mood you're in though i suppose but yeah it's definitely one of those kind of games oh come on make it make it make it oh, i'm not gonna make it no no <laughs> Curses! I wanted to get up there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there might be a way to climb up there from here. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that NPC is awesome. The treasure chest. Yeah, I need to. I need to definitely get the workshop. I'm looking forward to unlocking that. I probably have a ton of materials to to like craft pellets as well, since I haven't actually like made any. So. That's gonna be cool. At least I hope I can make a ton. Oh, oh, I've done. I've gone into that one already. So I'm on the other side now. I didn't actually mean to miss my jump there, but that's all right. So we've got to go through this little area here. Is it in here? Maybe it's in here. Let's have a look. See if we can find the thing we are after. Let's see. Yeah, there's the cinder block. That wasn't too hard to find. We got it. It would seem this is the rock that Axel is looking for. Let's go in. Let's go and give it to him then. It wasn't that far away either, so shouldn't take too long to get back to him. Just a little trek. Just a little adventure. There's a little king she slime over there as well. All right. Hmm. I wonder if I can like climb on these bones. <gasps> a metal slime. Let's take down the metal slime if I can. He's a bit fast. So it depends if I can actually get him or not. Go, go, get him. I'm not doing any damage. He's got such high evasion. Ah, oh, he got away. Damn it. <laughs> That's what metal slimes are like though. They're a pain in the butt. Oh, my monsters are kind of low right now. Uh, Hang on. Let me heal you guys up a second. Uh, Just a sec. So aim it at this dude. Fire! Very nice. Better. Where's Spot? I need to give Spot some some health as well. Get around, little guys. There you go. Just because, obviously, I don't want those guys to to die. So that would suck. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's treasure over here. Didn't even know there was treasure over here, actually. We'll grab this one. Wait. This has a little, like, a connection marker on it. Is this an online treasure? It looks a bit different. I think it could be. Oh, yeah, this was the valuable. online treasure that someone hid for me. <laughs> that's cool. How do I mark an area for treasure? Your hiding place has been set. I literally just hid it some exact same place as somebody else. <laughs> Whoops. Can I change it? I don't think I can. Sure you want to delete your hiding place. Okay, you can actually change it if I want to. I want to hide it somewhere else. We're gonna go find a really good hiding spot for like to hide this thing. Maybe I could hide it like on top of this, like right here. I want to hide it like right here on this bone. <laughs> Just because why not? Let's do it. Right here. Uh, I probably have to get off my mount. Let's get off my mount and hide it right here. Why can't I? Is it because I'm in combat? I think I'm in combat with something down there. All right, are you guys good? All right, let me hide it here. There we go. You've chosen a risky spot. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's right up here. <laughs> you, I'm sure they'll find it. <laughs> They're gonna be looking around for ages like, huh, where, where is it? I should have hidden it on top of that. <laughs> what even is that? It's like massive rock that goes goes into the sky. Imagine if someone hit hid their treasure right on the tip. <laughs> that would be so annoying. <laughs> they probably can't even get up there. I like how as you explore and meet people, the more your base gets more upgrades and people. Oh yeah, I love that. The sense of progression. I love I love games that have that. I was actually really happy to see that you could like upgrade the base and 
you know, sort of do it like that. So yeah, that's really cool. So I think I've got to get to that marker over there, the 100 and 128 marker over there. So I'm just going to drop down this way. I could probably just zoom over there this way, actually. Welcome back, Ikea. Are you doing okay? I hope you are. I hope you're doing well. Are you remembering to equip your monsters with medals? Yeah, um, I think I am wearing some some medals already. I'll double check in a sec, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I am equipped with medals already. Oh, I do have some uh, slots spare, but I don't think I. Oh, actually, I do have some medals that I can equip. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I guess I do did need to equip my medals. I have done some equipping though, like a few of them. Okay, let's put this one on as well. I just don't have I don't have enough medals to fill all my slots. So I got three slots on every character, so I don't have that much yet. <laughs> all right, let's turn the cinder block in to this dude. I have, I have looked low and high for the cinder block, but I could not find any. I know there are some. Um, how about you? Have you found it? Yes, hand it over and I make the pellet workshop in your base. Yes, here you go. Very nice. Yeah, this is single cinder block surely. Thank you. Now I return the favor and make the pellet workshop for you. I will see you on the island. All right. I should make my preparations. I will see you there. Yay. We're going to have the little pellet workshop at our base. Oh, look. There is another online treasure just here. It kind of like gives it away. Wow, why? there's loads of them here. Holy moly, can I really pick up this many? <laughs> there's so many. I don't have that much space though. I can only hold a few more treasures, sadly. But I will take it. There we go. Very, very nice. Yeah, why is there so many in the same spot? There's like, there's like three of them. Wow, they really didn't try to hide these treasures very well, did they? <laughs> they really didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm right next to a fast travel, so I might just go back home. Maybe they put it here because it's right near the right near the like teleport. So maybe they put it here so then you could just grab it and then just like go back to base. Maybe they were doing it to be kind. <laughs> I think that could be what it is to be honest, which is really kind of them, actually. Please? Okay, I'm going to turn back, go back, because I'm full. I can't carry any more, carry any more treasures, sadly. Your first proper trolling, you make me so proud. <laughs> they could probably get that treasure really easily, you know. <laughs> As a troll myself, if people can get to hard to reach places to troll people for amusement they will yeah definitely and you also get those people that are really kind as well and put it near the teleport so you can just get really easy treasure <laughs> i think the other players like to hide them in easy spots for easy gain do they get something if people find their treasure i hid mine pretty well though according to the game oh really oh god what is that Camillus Vex statue. That looks kind of weird. Mysterious monster. We got some more cards. Very nice. Lots of cards. There's a Santa card. They have a Dragon Quest Santa card. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> he looks a bit derp derpy though. I got some weird slippers, apparently. Those are actually kind of nice. I like those. A wand. They're replicas. I see how much I got 1.2 million. I always seem to get like the same amount most of the time. Treasure has been sent to the vault. Oh, let's go check out our work, our workshop. Now that we got the pellet dude in, maybe we can go and make some pellets. I would love to do that. That would be so cool. Problem is me, I tend to be both depending on how the mood strikes me. I tend to default to troll, but kindness does come to me. <laughs> That's true. Depends on your mood. I get it. <laughs> Why not? I have something new to okay, work. add new facilities. Yes. How Let's add on? the pellet production. Now that you ah. mention it, I did receive a message from Axel. It would seem that he's on his way here to set up his pellet shop. Yay! Gonna increase ah. the the base and make it wonderful and spectacular <laughs> okay here he is hello <laughs> long time no see 
You work still in the personnel department, I see. As you know, I am here to set up shop. We have space ready and waiting for you. The works is now open for business. At least you don't have to wait for him to like set up shop or anything. It's like instant, so that's nice. Nice. Uh, the station will be filled with the sound of clashing metal. Yay! Very nice. Let me go check it out already. Thank you very much. There we much. are. So now I've got I've got the the shopkeeper to set up still, and also the restaurant. You can get like a restaurant where you can like craft dishes i guess like cooking and there's also a shop but i don't know what the shop gives I you just yet uh, oh so you go to the areas through the menu oh okay so it like zones you into the area this is well worth take the right name. materials to axel at the pellet workshop and he'll craft powerful ammunition for you use it to heal your allies or deal devastating damage to enemies you can expand the repertoire by bringing him a formulae oh yeah i've actually found some of those books already not sure if it was pellet recipes i found but i did find some uh so make pellets what can i make i want to make some healing pellets if i can uh, like, I don't know, like 10 would be good. Yeah, let's just make 10. Why not? Let's do that. Good Healing carefully, pellets are yeah. always needed, so I wouldn't mind some of those. Well, it made 100. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting it to make that many. <laughs> oh, it makes them in box of 10. I didn't realise that. That's kind of cool. I would also like to make some of these because I'm completely out of these. So let's make some of those as well. Morsi, are you winning? Yeah. Sort of. I think so. Like, Already. um... I have died like once in this game, but it's mostly Definitely, it's mostly yeah. like not too hard of a game. Already. It's okay. It's not too bad. I need to get some more materials for this stuff. Need more ingredients. I can make these. Yeah, I can make these. Two of these. I guess we'll make some of those. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Let's see how this goes. We go minor ice damage very nice uh can i make i'm gonna make some of these as well make four of those i'm gonna be super Definitely op with yeah. all my amazing pellets <laughs> and Already. apparently you can also buy pellets as well so you can buy it with money as well i've actually got quite a lot of money and i haven't actually found a place to use my money just yet what's a donk pellet minor gravitational damage they don't actually cost that much to buy pellets either. So that's Dunker. cool. Zam pellets, which is minor dark damage. Dunker. Restores MP to a single alley. Sis pellet. We've got buddy pellets here. Very cool. Lots of different types there. That's cool. I'm glad Dunker. that we can just buy pellets whenever we want now. Let's see if we got any more recruits here to to welcome here into the, the gang i don't know if we really do let's see here hmm i do like that little dragon up there flick it's kind of cute <laughs> i have to say i don't think i can really invite very many people in let's see here oh i can invite this one have yeah decided. we're gonna invite this little dude this little dracky why not here he comes slurper joined the gang very nice Excellent. we're just gonna leave him out for now and i can also get this little golden slime too <laughs> <Let's be friends. laughs> he's so adorable and now he's in the gang as well yay Excellent. i don't think there's anyone else i really want to add into the gang right, right now do i want this one? Oh, okay i'll just grab this Have one too why not <laughs> Sounds interesting. Are oh, you playing Bug Fables? It's like Paper Mario. Weren't you playing that a while ago? Did you take a break from that game and then like come back to it or something? Because I swear you Excellent. were talking about that game like a while ago. Get this clanger. Because I actually did heart this one. I don't think I have one of these either. I'm trying to get like one of every monster. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. But like it's going to take a lot Excellent. of like materials and stuff like that to get every single one i think i don't think i have one of those i'm gonna heart that one as well let's see what else i don't think i got an orc anymore either because the last orc i gave to like the main story and then kind of kind of like i don't know 
lost him. So I'm trying to get another one of those. Oh, there's something going on over here, it seems. Oh, it's just a dispatch thing. They're back already? Oh, wow. They came back really, really, really quick. You beat it. Oh, are you doing like a second playthrough? You must really like the game then, <laughs> if that's the case. That's cool though. It does look like a fun game. I got village else. goods. Nice. Alrighty. What else did we get? Because we got another, another treasure to pick up over here as well. So hopefully we get something good from this bunch. Now you're doing the extra stuff. Oh, you're doing post-game stuff. Merry Terry cards. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I hope you guys are looking forward to Christmas. Uh, we're going to send these guys out again. Do I want to go to the same place? Now nah, let's select destination. Send you to this area here. There we go. I wish you could, like, skip this bit. I guess I'm just... I'm just, like you know, impatient. I'm just gonna send this guy, sure? this guy straight yeah. out. So I think that was a good golden ratio find. anyway, so that seems like a good idea. Alright, there you what go. There's that done. Let's go and... Let's go and do some more treasure hunting and see what else we can find. That would be awesome. I've still got my main story to do in the, the canyon area. I'm gonna check to see if I did any more uh, daily quests. Are you making I don't progress? know if I did. I gotta use wild side ability. Use in the mainland. Monstrous site in the mainland. I haven't been there yet. Change the character you're controlling. Can I do that? Um, I need to speak to Eric. I think he's in a in an expedition though. So maybe I have to wait for that to come back. I'm not sure. I've never changed character before, so I don't know how exactly that works. Be. Let's go back down here, and I'm kind of curious to see if those treasures will still be there or not. Because if they are, I might grab those as well. You might do a second playthrough. You must really like that one, then. Is it turn-based? It does look pretty fun. Like, I've seen, like, it briefly. I can't remember if it was turn-based or not, though. But it looks like a fun time. It's actually still on Game Pass, so I could totally play it if I wanted to. <laughs> if I could ever find time, that is. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, so it was like, uh, down I think. So if I pull this lever, head down, and we'll see if those treasures are still down there. Maybe I'll grab them all, because they were in a really easy place to find. It doesn't look like they are. Maybe I'm in a different location though. I'm not really sure, but that's okay. So we have a quest down here. Speak to- oh this is a- that's a little train station thing. I think I'll go to the main story, so I think that we're closer to the main story. So let's definitely go and do that. That'd be great. Oh, there's a treasure nearby. Guess I'll have to take down these she slimes first. I also want to try out my skills if I can. Why can I not use the use my skills? Ah, I can now. Let's try this one with my, my little kitty. Cry of the Storm. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Probably very OP too. It's like, took down everything. <laughs> Let's dig up the treasure. Give me all the treasure. Very nice. I wonder if I can hide multiple treasures in, in this area or if it's just like Whoa, one cool. that I can do. Like for the online. Just really curious. Is my treasure still there? Yeah, it's still there. Blue hiding place. So I can... I can hide another one. I should go hide another one somewhere. Where should I hide my second treasure? <laughs> we should definitely find a good hiding spot. Maybe up there somewhere. I don't know. Alright. Oh gosh. Got me good there, I see. <laughs> Let's try my Drakis skill. Or my, my dragon skill. See what skill you've got. What's it doing? It's so derpy looking. Divine Breath. Looked pretty strong, I have to say. Did do a lot of damage to the, the king slime there, so that was good. Alright, let's do climb it. up here. Do you think I could, like, jump and get it on that? <laughs> Is this really mean? <laughs> Just get it on this, like, little lamppost. I want to hide my treasure on this lamppost right here. 
<laughs> they gotta climb onto this just to get the treasure. All right, let's put it here because <laughs> I am evil. There you go. You have to climb on that to get it. <laughs> um, at least I, I'm giving it to them, but they gotta work for it. They gotta work for my treasure. <laughs> I wonder if that would be like really hard to. It wasn't that hard to jump on. I'm sure they'll be able to. That's an easy one. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really that hard to get to. I want. I, I suppose. But it takes a little bit more energy than just finding it on the side of the road. So there is that. All right. Let's use some pellets here. Take down these asylum birds. Very cool. I'll see if I can put another one down, but it looks like you could only do one like per area. Yeah, like I think it's like every time you teleport into the area, you can do another treasure spot from what I'm seeing. Um, I need to go down there. So I think I'm going to... We're going to glide down this section. Don't know if I can, if I'll get hurt from this pathway. I think it will be okay though. I think we'll be all right. We're getting really close to the main objective here, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on. I don't know if this is my first stone. It might be actually. Do we need to heal? I'm not sure what my health is at right now. Oh, there's a big boss down there. It's like a golem thing. Mini heal pellets. Uh, yeah, we'll just rest until morning just to make sure I'm fully restored. <laughs> Such a neophyte troll. <laughs> did you want it? Did you, did you want me to put it somewhere harder? I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I don't know. Hard mode and hard hits make those make the game super hard. It's hard if you combine two special badges. I don't really know what the special badges are. <laughs> No idea. It sounds fun though. I'm glad you're having a good time with it. All right, on guard, fiend. Let's take down this nasty creature, Magmantis. We got this. He's got a really cool club. I love his club. Oh my gosh, he's messing up my monsters. Like there is no tomorrow. All right, where's Spot? Spot, take that. Okay, we're fine. We're all good. Everything is good. I'm doing like no damage to it. It's level 20, so it's not like that much like, you know, higher than me, but it's doing so much damage to me. I don't know why. Um, oh no. What is it doing? I guess this is part of the storyline. Maybe uh, something's supposed to happen to let me actually do damage to it. So I am not having a good time here. What the heck is going on? Mia? Mia! Wakey, wakey! Oh, it's Gale! Hello! Are you here to save me? You're awake. Are you alright? I think you might have overdone it. It seems our red-haired friend saved our bacon. That's right. If I hadn't come along when I did, you'd have been done for. Thank you very much, but what are you doing here? Why, I've come for the Amber Horn, of course. We Sylphanians have our sources too, you know. And you're not the only ones looking for the seven stones. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so fiercely guarded, though. Maybe we can work together? Oh. Who is it? Uh-oh. Some fiend has arrived. Oh, it's Mogsworth. <laughs> I love Mogsworth. <laughs> I've heard that this is where the Amber Horn is to be found. It's Mogsworth from the Thunderous Plunderers. If it isn't my favourite little lady, fancy seeing you here. Now I know we've got a lot to catch up on, but I'm afraid it will have to wait. I'm here for the Amber Horn. I'm planning to present it to Captain Silverbones, who'll have no choice but to re-admit me into the plunderer's fold. It's really not worth it, Mogsworth. Like, seriously. <laughs> you should just join my merry band. I would love to have Mogsworth on my team. <laughs> he, he did at the beginning. That cat totally licks his own ears. <laughs> Drake's obsessed with it. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to beat that thing. But no matter, I will simply use my pinching proficiency to steal the Dragonstone, leaving my victim none the wiser. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work somehow. <laughs> Good luck with that little, little dude. I did try to warn you. Perhaps my pinching prowess isn't what it was. He's going old. <laughs> you know what though? Trying to steal the Dragonstone isn't such a bad idea. Hmm. 
Maybe we can steal it too. If we knocked our friend out with a stun pellet, it should be easy enough to pinch the treasure. So are we not supposed to defeat it? Wait, did I hear you correctly? Did you say stun pellet? Of course. Myself, Sive, so, 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 so found Fanny and friend, whatever it's called. You are a genius. Now I just need to gather the requisite ingredients and I shall have my revenge. I don't know if I can actually craft those. I must be off. Farewell. We shall cross paths again. All right. See you later, dude. Why did you go giving giving him ideas like that? I think I might have said too much. Yes, you did. <laughs> you love Christmas. It's like two weeks. Two weeks tomorrow. Can you believe it? Time goes so fast. <laughs> Hooray for bacon! <laughs> Embrace the evil. Now, if you manage to get into one of those sticky out rocks when gliding, that's more like it. Do you think I can put one down there? I don't know if it lets you put one down, like, anywhere. I'm not too sure. Like, if you're, like, in the middle of gliding. <laughs> it's just, like, treasure floating in the air. Probably can't. Probably can't do that. It's too late to take it back now. So, come on, tell us how to make those stun pellets. Alright then, I suppose it's only fair. And there we go. Now I have the formula. Just take that formula to your preferred pellet maker. They'll know what to do. Alright. The amber horn, uh, amber horn even has the Sylphanian name on it. No, it doesn't. It has the multiverse name on it. <laughs> it will be mine. I anyway. tell you, I I will make it mine. What is my crazy saber cat doing over there? He looks like he's got some issues. <laughs> he's having a problem. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's like stuck in animation or something. I think I lost some treasure. Because, like, I died in the cutscene. I swear I had two boxes of treasure. Maybe I'm just, like, losing my mind or something. I don't know. We're not leaving just yet. Obviously, yeah. I need to go back to base to craft this stun pellet. But I want to fill up my bags with treasure before we leave. So I'm not going to leave just, just yet. All right. There is another objective down this way as well. So I'm going to attempt... To go towards that one which I think is a railway thing so we're gonna try and do that oh god this is quite a strong area over here uh, I'm actually going the wrong way anyway we need to backtrack a little bit let's go back this way I need to go down the other path <laughs> this is a bad area anyway I wonder if the cat is based on Jean Simmons kiss I mean given the pale skin fur and tongue kiss what what are you talking about i'm not sure exactly what you mean there i'll warn you about those two badges you'll die so fast my gosh you were wondering that too hmm <laughs> i have no idea all right where are we going we need to head up there yeah i need to somehow get higher if i can that would be awesome Take down this bird brain. Get out of here, little Elysium bird. Um, how am I going to get up there? <laughs> I was up there, but I like launched myself off so that I could do this quest. And now I don't know how to get back up there. Not too sure. I might have to go down this way. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to it. I do like Mogsworth though. He is a very cool little kitty. I reckon he will join the monster monster gang again at some point. I just have to I just have to like, you know, probably just get a bit further in the story. But I reckon he will. I'm in a very dangerous area. Send help. <laughs> I don't know how to get back up into that area just yet. I'm just gonna run through this area. We should be fine. We're in the cold shoulder right now. I can't believe there's such like a big like like level like jump here in this area. It's kind of crazy how it just increases like that. Maybe I can jump up there or something. That would be cool. Lots of cactuses in this area as well. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> that was an accident. It's okay though. Hopefully we can jump up those rocks. I'm gonna try jump up those rocks. I think my dragon is like buffing me or something. It's kind of cool that my dragon is is doing that. 
Need to wait for the cooldown so we can jump up here. Very nice. Yeah, it's a bit weaker up this area, so glad about that. <laughs> so that's good. I like the trees over there. Some like big trees over there. Willow tree and just like, that looks like the Yggdrasil tree, but it's probably not. But I don't know. Alright, apparently I just leveled. I don't know how. Hey, I was like trying to... I was trying to ride my thing. Trying to ride my saber cat. Stop it! You're all attacking me. I'm like dying over here. Very low on life. Uh, I need to heal. Heal, please. All right. There we go. Spot is not looking too great either. Maybe I'll do some like, do some power over here or something. Cause they are hurting me a lot. <laughs> oh no. Did you catch the trailer for the new Bayonetta game coming out in March? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, I think Evie was talking about it the other day and I was curious and I looked it up. That was I just got a lot of medals. That was awesome. But yeah, it looks interesting actually. I really like the art style. It looks very different from the other Bayonetta games. It's like, um, yeah, it looked cool. It actually looks really cool. I've not played any of the Bayonetta games though. I know it's a prequel, but like I was wondering if it was a good idea for me to like even play it since I really don't know anything about the Bayonetta games at all but it does look really cool I, I do really like the art style for it and Bayonetta herself looks really adorable too <laughs> she looks really cute um we got a little treasure here let's grab this one I hate Bayonetta but the origin game looks okay maybe on sale hmm is it like is it like the actual gameplay that you don't like or is it like her character I'm really curious <laughs> Bayonetta Origins and The Last Demon, if any time was a great time to pick up the Bayonetta series, it's with that. You think that's a good one to play as like your first Bayonetta game? The art looks amazing, totally different. It does look very different. Very different actually. Okay, we can do it. Oh, there is a treasure right here. I just picked one up. Treasures everywhere. You're back again. You seem very busy today, Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, how hard did you laugh at the Resident Evil game? I laughed a little bit. I kind of, like, already had played the game and already, like, had seen the, um, had seen, what is he called? The, the like, the thing that follows you everywhere in Resi. I had already, like, seen it from when I played it myself, so I guess, like, that took away from it a little bit since I already, like, had seen it, so, yeah. <laughs> I remember kind of, like, laughing about it and stuff when... He like when the when the creature stops following you when you're in the the like safe house in the oh, safe room. <laughs> so yeah, he, it's kind of funny that they made him like that, where he just can't go into the safe room. <laughs> Poor little dude. He just wants to. He just wants to murder and kill you and maim you. <laughs> you know. Not really been here. Hope you're having fun. You've been here this whole time? Say what? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Let's dig up this treasure. Very nice. This cactus looks cool in the middle. Da da da! More treasure. Very nice. Um, it looks like some kind of cactus monster for the treasure. I think I'm getting very close to the objective now. Over this way. And we only have three more treasures to obtain for this area as well so that's cool let's go see what this is then this is an oh yeah this is another train station thingy majig let's go and restore it that would be awesome let's break open these boxes spot is not looking too great let's rest up give him some life that would be good <laughs> I only saw the thumbnail, but not yet. Are you into Bayonetta games, Ikea? I'm not sure if, like, you're into those or not. I have no idea. All right. Let's go and restore this station. There you go. The station has seen better days, but bringing the station master the right materials should make it possible to repair. I think I have enough. Here you go. Apparently, I don't have lava lumps. Where do you get those? You can forage the lava lumps at the red mineral deposits. I only need a couple, so hopefully there's some around here somewhere. 
let's see. Oh, the, I think there's some over there. I haven't actually been picking up too many of these. So, so let's see if I can grab some lava lumps. Hopefully this is what I need. Nope, this is a red gem. Not quite what I'm after. What's this? Another red gem. I'm just going to like yeah. zoom over here. Obviously we don't want to bump into that. So it's probably going to hurt us. Ah, there you, there you go. I, I've got what I need, I think. I think I can now restore it. So that's good. I'm glad there was some just that just so happened to be around the area. That's pretty awesome. Time to repair it. There's some kind of treasure around here too, but I'll come back for that. I want to do this first. It's like that would be good. Nice little shortcut back home as well. All right. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> I remember the intro to Bayonetta too. I have not I've not seen it, so I've no idea. You I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> But maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> Have you accumulated enough treasure and wealth in your vault where opposing gangs start coming after you? No, I don't think so. Is that a thing that happens? Oh no. <laughs> I'm only gang level 4, so you must be quite far ahead. You must uh, have zoomed through the game. Red Scale Rise is now operational. Yay! Now we have another one of these little areas. I don't think there's any more objectives, is there? Oh, another one just appeared. Over here. Report back to Mr. Banks. I gotta go to Cold Central Station. So, I think you can travel between the stations, right? So I'm gonna go and fast travel over to that one and turn the quest in and see what happens. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Cold Shoulder. I think it's over here that I gotta go. So, let's do that all aboard <laughs> this uh train is kind of cool it runs on weird rails it's like got this like beam of light thing that it follows <laughs> it's kind of strange but cool at the same time we have arrived at cold shoulder station and here's mr banks i can't believe it you went and fixed up all the stations on cinderback ridge here this reminds me there's something i've been meaning to tell you You've probably already heard that our trains run along the bloodlines, haven't you? They run along bloodlines. There's a reason why they're called bloodlines. They're sort of like our lifeblood, with energy flowing across all the islands. Apparently this energy is the original life force of the dragons what formed this world. Wow, okay. Them old muckers died a long time ago, but the force remains alive, apparently. May the force be with you. <laughs> anyway, that's how our trains get around. By riding these flows of energy, you can have a real you can't have a real way without a bloodline, see? I've gotta say I'm impressed. Hats off to our founder for having the idea to use them bloodlines in the first place. Sorry I got a bit carried away there, and I promised you a reward. Here it is. Alright. What's my reward? Ooh, a treasure. And a sushi recipe. I don't have the actual restaurant yet though, but still, that's cool. I got a station replica model, which is kind of cool, I have to say. Yay! All the stations are operational. All up and running. Very nice, but there's still a lot more stations to recover. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll get them eventually. <laughs> so should That's cool. The um, there's a little bit more treasure for us to find, so I'm gonna do a little bit more exploration. But the whole of this map has actually been explored now, like I can see everywhere. So that's cool. There, there probably is a lower level. Is there a lower level? There's usually a lower level, but I don't really know. Can't use, can't hide your... I, I think I might have another treasure trove because I left. Maybe. I'm not too sure. I'm going to go back to uh, the area I was at, which I think was down this way, and see if I can find another treasure. Hello, Smithers. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Are you surprised that I didn't bring up eyes yesterday? You've been very tame recently, Ikea. <laughs> You've been very good. <laughs> you played the game until midnight last Let's night and this morning until it was time for your stream. Also, my wife gave me the game early. <laughs> you... You managed to convince her. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> or did you did you have to do anything special? <laughs> a variant of Trans Draconic Railway Company banner. Ooh, I got a little banner thing. I don't know what that does, but cool, I guess. 
Uh, let's head... Let's head down. Take off! There was a treasure down here. I'm not sure if it's still here or not, but there was one by this bridge. Yeah, it's still here. Cool. We're gonna find this one, and we're gonna hopefully find a couple of treasures around this area. You guys aren't stepping into the fire, are you? You crazy dudes. It's showing it, like, right here, but I don't know where the spot is. But it's showing it on the bridge. Maybe let's, like, Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Treasure, where are you at? Let's see if we can find this little spot. Okay, it's in between some, like, rocks. It's in between some rocks. We're close, very close to it. Uh, it's probably, like, down here somewhere, I'm assuming. Is it here? Okay, it's here. We found it. Very easy, very easy <laughs> to find. <laughs> Yay. You're still recovering? I hope you're okay. What what kind of like... Are, are we allowed to ask what actually... What you actually had? Like what surgery you had? You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. I'm just curious. I'm nosy. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> what? What is going on there? Oh, can we... Can we pick this up? I found some killer tomatoes. Very nice. And can I grab this too? I hope that... I hope that we can find a few more treasures before we... before we head home. That would be nice. I just need two more. Two more treasures. I've only found silvers so far, so I'm really hoping to find some... some golden ones. The one piece was inside you all along. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say what? I told her the truth that the game came with pre-order bonuses and a code and then you have a limited time to put the code in before expiring. I just simply didn't tell her how much they time they give you. Wow! <laughs> You'd do anything to get your hands on the game. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm, I think we should like go and tell your wife <laughs> get you in trouble. <laughs> wow. The story and her character mainly, I tried the first one. Oh, you're talking about Bayonetta. Right, I see. I haven't really played it, so I don't know. I don't actually know if I'd like it or not, but I I could never get into Devil May Cry, so I'm not sure if like I'm not sure if I would like it or not. Who knows? I do like the the, the way the moves look though. She like doesn't she have like butterfly powers and stuff? <laughs> I think like she's got some cool looking powers and she has like a purple theme and I like that but I've never actually played it so I don't know all right there we go nice took those guys out where's all the treasure at we need to go hunt it down let's go see if I can find any like nearby it's pretty far pretty away. far away so oh or is it <laughs> there's some right here just appeared out of nowhere <laughs> I'm still trying to find a way to get this game myself. I keep hoping to find someone to do a giveaway for it. Can you not get it on the Nintendo store? It's That's how I got it, fortune. but maybe maybe you're after physical. I've heard someone else said getting physical is not too easy for this game, but uh, that's how I got it anyways. All right, let's dig up the treasure. I hope you get it soon though. I hope you manage to get your hands on it. This is pretty fun. There we go, treasure. I think I'm ready to return home now, since we got quite a lot of treasure there. Where's the closest one? I was near one, so yeah, it shouldn't be too far away. Just head down this way, and we'll take all our wondrous loot back to the base. Seems like a cool idea. Hmm, what are you thinking about over there, Drake? <laughs> There's a Bayonetta anime movie. There is? I didn't know that they did anime for Bayonetta. That's kind of, it's kind of cool, actually. Have you seen it? Is it good? All right, let's head up. She actually knows that they gave you, give you pl plenty of time. She just gave it to me early because she knew I really wanted to play it. Oh, <laughs> so she did know. <laughs> That's okay then. All right, let's head to the multiverse island. I just wanted to get you in trouble. <laughs> I can't afford to pick it up right now. Oh, you got laid off, so money is tight. I see. And it's nearly Christmas time as well. So yeah, it's um, it's a kind of busy time of year and a crazy time of year. So that um, that sucks. I hope you can get it soon. I mean, maybe you could ask someone to give you it for Christmas. <laughs> maybe. 
<laughs> I don't know. Alrighty, we have arrived. Happy times. What treasure, what treasure have we got? Let's find out. We got some rags. Great, that's fantastic treasure. <laughs> My god, patty statue. Why does that sound familiar? Patty character. A statue of a barkeep whose premises have been have seen countless greetings and goodbyes. I feel like I recognise that name. I don't know what it's from though. We got a statue. A statue of a cauldron whose character befits a devoted butler. That's a butler? Okay. Oh my god. Cactus Falls statue. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> I feel like there was stuff like that in Dragon Quest Builders, but I don't think they looked like that. So that's probably from a different one. Oh, that looks like some boss or something. Dastardly demon statue. That looks like some kind of boss from another Dragon Quest. He looks really cool. Statue of a mighty monster. We've got some grappling hooks. Very nice. Ta da! Look at all that glorious money. <laughs> Very nice. I've got some special treasure that hasn't been appraised. I'm going to send a monster. Patty's been in both Dragon Quest Heroes when choosing party members. Oh, that's where I remember her from. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> I was wondering where I remembered her from and I couldn't quite remember, but it makes sense because Heroes was many years ago since I played it. <laughs> She's also been in Dragon Quest 3 and 9. I haven't played those Dragon Quests, so it wouldn't be from those. It would be from Heroes that I recognised it from. What do you mean you're going to send a monster? Cactables were in Dragon Quest 11. Those though these statues are shiny, kind of like the gold ones. Hmm. I think they were also... I'm sure they were in Dragon Quest Builders too, the little cactable things. So I guess they're in multiple games, I'm assuming. We did the main story quest over here. Oh yeah, we need to... No, we didn't. We just need to um, build the stun pellets. That's what we need to do. Then we can continue with the story. So that would be cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go make the stun pellets. So we can take down that boss thing. Do I have to craft it? Not sure if I have to craft it or what. Stun pellets. There we go. I can make 30 of them. That's pretty good. good we're going to craft all of those. And then we're going to get busy. Already. It's going to be great. There we go. Crafted. Soon, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, let's go see what recruits we've got as well. See if we've got anything good going on here. Some applications came hmm... In. Let's see. Scroll down. I think I'll get the, the orc. Because we don't have any orcs in our team <laughs> anymore. So let's grab this dude. I want to get all the creatures. I don't know how many creatures you can recruit at one time. Like, I don't know if, like, you can just grab all of them Excellent. or not. Probably not, but I don't know. Might get. I'm going to get this dude as well. This little flying boy. He looks really cool. I do have a conda already, but not this colour. So this is just like a different colour. A different variant. I don't want to organise our party just yet. I don't think there's any more on here that I want to wanna get. So I'll just let the rest kind of, you know, get out of the uh, the recruitment area. Okay. But I'll go and dispatch some more monsters. I was actually just playing Dragon Quest Heroes 2 earlier. Oh, you were? Cool. It's a good game. I liked Dragon Quest Heroes too. It was fun. In Dragon Quest Heroes 1 as well, they had like these really cool little character storylines in them. I don't remember if they had them in Dragon Quest Heroes 2, but they had them in the first one, which was really cool. They were actually quite quite fun to do. Alright. There you go. Let's see what we get. I think I had a replica uh, treasure from that one, unfortunately, <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, what treasure do we get from this one? Oh, I got a new one. A I've scout ring. Those. Very nice. Well We're just gonna send these guys back out. I think I'm gonna change destination. 100% golden ratio at the Snouterhorn area. Yes, let's send them out there. Is your favourite colour dark purple? I do like purple, yes. I do like a lighter tone of purple though, but I do like any kind of shade of purple really. <laughs> I do I do like purple. It's uh it's good stuff. Uh where do we wanna go here? I think fifty percent, so we'll head out there right now. Oops. 
actually click the wrong button. Send them out. There we go. Hey, Rennie. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. 30 minutes for that one. It takes longer for some of these dispatch quests, I suppose. That's all right, though. All right, let's go in. Steal the Amber Horn, which will be our very first... Our very first, um stone right dragon stone this will be the very first one if we manage to if we manage to succeed oh oh no progress? i've already yeah i already did that one i thought i did another another quest then track down the treasure did i fail to track down this treasure i thought i got it i don't even know to be honest hello it's little slime Isabella is paying you a visit Isabella shows you its gang's most prized treasures all right show me your amazing treasure heck is that it looks like a little there's <laughs> a little bandana um okay let's give him some likes i'm gonna like your bandana yes go i'm gonna try and beat my high score i got like 120 last time go 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 yes i beat it i beat my high score <laughs> i got 138 that time very nice <laughs> Isabella is giving you a replica treasure aha Thanking you. That was very nice. Do we want to treasure tours? Give a treasure to one of your monsters and send it out into the world to proudly show other players. Okay, so I can do that as well. Uh, manage monsters. Welcome monsters from other gangs. Now let's let's send one out. I'm gonna send. I wish to send out monster. <laughs> I'm gonna send out this orc right here and the treasure I'm gonna send out is god I don't know what have I even got I don't even have that much um I think you can only send out treasures that you've got duplicate of e I think anyways what can I I can send out this robe apparently this is all I can send password no we don't need a password let's send another monster Let's send out all the monsters with all my treasures. Send out this one. The treasure you're gonna send is... I can only send that one treasure. <laughs> I can literally only send out the fur. I'm sad. I wanted to send out something like a bit better than the fur, but whatever. It's fine. Everyone can have my little fur coats. <laughs> Why not? Wait, maybe there's something on a different tab. Oh, wait. Oh, I can send out some other things. Let's send out a patty or something. Perhaps. <laughs> you beat yourself at your own high score. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Mercury bandana. They were really good in Dragon Quest eh? Oh, really? I see. Treasure troves. What else can I send? I don't really have that much that I can send out, sadly. Let's see. Brick a brac. I thought there was some other ones. How come I can't send these statues out? For some reason you can only do it of like certain ones. Hero statues. Oh, so certain monsters can only send certain things. So, so if I find another one with a hero statue, I don't even have any available. So that's all I can send out. All right, I'm going to send. Oh my gosh, I just backed out. Oh wait. You wish to send yeah, how do I do it? Oh, I have to click on them like this. Okay, send out. Which mode do you want to send out your monster? Online. Yes. Okay, go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love Devil May Cry, but I love the Devil May Cry where they tried to reboot it and made him dark haired. I think that's the one I played. <laughs> Apparently it's a really bad one. Um, gonna send this one out as well there we go <laughs> go go so and then this one there are currently no treasure available for this monster so I think I can't do any more I can't send any more monsters out here oh wait if I do this one I can send out an otherworldly item um apparently not okay never mind <laughs> I want to send all three out I don't know if I'm going to be able to though Let's try... Can I send out a weapon? Let's send out a weapon. Yes, I can send out a weapon. Sweet. I will send out a green gum whip. 
Why not? Let's send that one out as well. There we go. Yay! My monsters are going out and gifting people lots of treasures. <laughs> Let's welcome... Oh, I can't welcome someone's monster. Never mind. I don't have any codes or anything. Treasure hunt. Shall we seek treasure? Let's do a randomizer. You can download treasure like this four times. I'm going to download somebody's treasure. Okay, I got someone's treasure. The treasure forecast has changed. Very nice. Uh, I'll have to go find it. I don't know where where their treasure actually went. I think it's actually at the Cinderback place. There's actually some event going on in this area. Let's go down here then. <laughs> that would be cool. They gave a lot of agility so you could use them to attack before the metal slimes. Oh really? Oh man, I wish I could wear one. I've actually seen metal slimes in this game a few times and I think I've killed one, but the rest have like escaped. I've seen a couple of them and they're just like really annoying <laughs> to obtain. <laughs> a lot of people didn't like Devil May Cry to the point that they ridiculously sent death threats to the devs for changing Dante. That's a little bit extreme. Developers should be able to do what they want to their characters without death threats. <laughs> like, that's kind of crazy, for sure. What is this? Oh, I think this is a gang war. I think we can do a little gang war down here. From the Daybreakers. Oh yeah, let's do a gang war. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. I think the last one I did of this was the cutie slime gang war. I haven't done one of these before, actually. Alright, we've arrived. Let's do like a special ability here. Let's do this. I'm ready to deal a ton of damage. Go, go, go! Do you ever play Dragon Quest XI again? I would suggest trying Whip Veronica. I actually do want to try try it again. Are they all dead? Really? That was easy. <laughs> they all died so quickly. <laughs> like, wow. Let's pull up the flag. Yeah! This is going to get us a ton of treasure really quickly. Because they drop a ton of stuff. I wish they dropped gold treasure, though. So it's usually only silver that they drop, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Let's pick up all the goodies. There's also a bunch of silver around me as well. Pick up this one. Very nice. All right, come on, my little saber cat. We're gonna travel down this way. Also grab this treasure right here. I lucked out here. I'm gonna get so much. <laughs> Trying to think of a flavor that a metal slime can represent. <laughs> Silver doesn't bring a flavor to mind. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. Silver doesn't really bring a color to my mind either. Oh, it looks like there's a golden treasure around here somewhere. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> that was hilarious. They were pretty weak. I have to say, they were very weak. Where's this treasure? <gasps> Here it is. Find the treasure. We gotta find the one piece. Where is it at? Okay, it's like right at the end of this cliff, apparently. So it'll be like up here somewhere. Or maybe the one next to me. Nope, it's right here. Easy peasy, very easy. And there's also a silver one down there too. I just like got into the area and straight got like six treasure. <laughs> Like, that's a lot of treasure to find very quickly. I can even see the silver one from here as well. The silver one is just down there. So much loot. So much treasures. I'm happy though. I'm not complaining. Give me all the treasure. Wouldn't Licorice be black? Yeah, you would You would think so. At around level 24, she gets Twins Dragon Lash. And it's actually the strongest single attack it's physical. That does sound really awesome. What game are we talking about here? <laughs> you did say, didn't you? With the, oh, 8 with the bandana. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Alright, let's go to the objective. You know what? It might be faster to use the train to get down there. So that's going to take forever to get to. It's just finding my way back up to the train. <laughs> might be a bit of a pain in the butt. It's up there. So yeah, let's let's go back go back to that. Definitely found a lot of treasure there. I'm even tempted to just go back to the base, actually, since I can only pick up two more treasure anyway. Oh, there's one over here too. I think I might. I've barely even made it, like, like from the train station. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
pick this one up as well. Very nice. So they said all the dragons in this game are dead. So does that mean we're just like on a dragon corpse or something? So I'm pretty sure the islands were like meant to be dragons or something like that. <laughs> I don't know though, but that would be kind of, kind of morbid. Is there another treasure here? Jeez, I'm gonna fill up my bag then, since like, pretty sure we're gonna be able to. It's around here somewhere. Not sure exactly where, but there's a treasure around here. I think it might be above. I have a feeling it's above. Yeah, it's, it's up there. I think it's up here. So, try and try and get like thrown up there. Go, go, go. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain to actually get up there, I think. But, oh, here it is. Right here. Let's see if we can find out where. I think it'll be above though. Right, let's see. Yep, it's totally above. It is above. It is up here somewhere. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay, uh, how am I going to get up there? Oh, there we go. Just grab the treasure. Good stuff. And now we can definitely go home. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're talking about Dragon Quest XI. For Veronica, her twin dragon lash. That is, uh, that is a lot. Don't you think that would make you a bit too overpowered, though? Wouldn't it make the game a little boring if you were, like, that strong? God, look how many treasures. There's treasures over there as well. What is going on? Get up, get up, get up. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. So we're going back to base so since I'm completely full of loot right now. So that's the plan. That was probably the fastest expedition I have ever done. <laughs> that was insanely fast. It was a couple of Should minutes to completely fill up my bags. <laughs> that was really good. That was awesome. Very cool. Very nice. Imagine a romantic scene like, you're my only precious treasure out of everything in the world. That's very cheesy. <laughs> very cheesy indeed. <laughs> you sure do like your romances. Oh, hello, Kira. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day today. I didn't see you there. I was busy collecting treasure. <laughs> I'll take a closer look. All right, let's appraise our treasure and see what we get. What treasures? What treasures? What do we have? Let's find out. I've never seen one of those before. I got a platypus statue. It's kind of creepy, but I like it. <gasps> hammer hoods! I love the hammer hoods. Do you guys remember in Dragon Quest Builders when I made a giant... I made like this whole room out of hammerhead plushies? That took me forever to do. Because <laughs> the materials for crafting those things were a nightmare. I think that was in the first Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> I, I really lo loved those plushies. Mud mannequin statues. Alright. Who is this? We've got some kind of character here. Prince Kita statue. From probably one of the old Dragon Quest games. He can't help but sneak out of the castle in search of adventure. And what else? We got a Flotocopia. I remember those enemies. And we got a random horse. Because why not? Maybe this is some like knightly steed. Oh, a statue of Princess Media in her cursed a queen form? This is a princess? Did was there a princess that got cursed and turned into a to a horse? That's that sounds like a weird Dragon Quest game. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, I got young Terry. I have seen Terry before. He's like a swordsman. I think he was in Heroes. I, I think he was pretty cool actually. I never seen him as a young kid though mischievous boy who de de dearly loves his big sister. Alright. That actually was a really good haul. That was a lot more money than what I usually get as well. I might even rank up from that, I don't know. I need 20,000 to rank up. Okay, maybe not. Probably won't rank up. Oh, actually I did. Holy moly. That was good. Yeah! Rank up. I am now a proficient hunter. That was good. That was very good. Now I have to get 35 million for the next reward. Very nice. Kita is from Dragon Quest 7. Media is from 8. Ah. 
I see. I think that's the princess turned into a horse. Can't remember which one. It sounds weird. I didn't know that there was a Dragon Quest that uh, had a, a storyline like that. <laughs> it sounds fun though. Tired after all their adventuring, Mia and the others take a break at the campfire. So You've collected a great deal of treasure now and Multiverse is coming along splendidly. Keep this up and everyone in Draconia will know about us. I dare say we'll have no shortage of monsters eager to join. Of course, hmm. fame has its downsides. Our exploits have made us a juicy target for rival treasure hunters. Oh, this is what Matthias was talking about earlier. Oh no, I fear it won't be long before someone comes to steal our treasure. And when that happens, it'll be down to you to keep it safe. Oh no, but don't let all this to distract you from finding the seven stones. If we don't find them, we'll never be able to go home. That's true, but come on, you have to admit that all of the adventures we're having are rather enjoyable. Yes, I suppose treasure hunting here isn't the worst thing in the world, and it certainly looks like we'll be together for the foreseeable. Just don't forget about the dragon stones. Okay, calm down. You don't need to remind me twice. <laughs> oh my god. Dragon Quest VIII is Journey of the Cursed King. You play as the last retainer of a king princess who got cursed into being a troll and a mare. That sounds really cool. I want to play that game. Why do we not have a port or like a re-release yet? <laughs> give me, give me Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> I want to play it. Terry's really popular in Japan. Oh really? He had some spin-off games. He's like one of those like cool uh, types, right? Like cool and quiet type of characters, rough around the edges. <laughs> I do like him though. When your treasure is on display, rival gangs will come and try to steal it. They can attack at any time, so whether you're out hunting for treasure or taking care of business, always stay on guard. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh, it looks like I got another notice board. Banner quests. Defeat rival gangs to earn their flags, all while protecting your, your treasure. Check the notice board. Okay. We'll see about doing some of those sometime. Sounds cool. Let's go see if we can do it. That would be awesome. Treasure has been sent to the vault. I don't want to be attacked. No, don't attack me. Does that mean I have to like drop everything I'm doing to like pr protect my base? That sounds kind of annoying when I'm like doing something. <laughs> but okay, are uh, these are my dailies and this one this is, well is imposing knowing. banners. Rival gangs will attack while you're out exploring, but they'll also target your treasure troves. You can earn special rewards for repelling their raids on your base. Okay, a storm's booing, brewing. Um, defeat the thunderous plunderers. Okay, um, so I have to just defeat lots of different factions here. Cool. Okay, I'm sure we'll do that as we progress. Uh, can I actually go and do this quest now? I was going to do this quest where, where the story was and I got completely distracted <laughs> but it's okay dragon quest 8 has a variety of remakes aren't they all on the 3ds and like on those kind of platforms because i don't have i don't have a ds <laughs> was remade for the 3ds it has two playable characters and a new ending i don't have one <laughs> i don't have a 3ds <laughs> now you gotta worry about treasure nappers no they can tag any time no <laughs> darn annoying treasure nappers <laughs> And I'm busy doing things that's gonna be somewhat annoying, but I'm kind of looking forward to, to trying it. But I reckon it'll get annoying going forward when I'm like trying to do stuff and they're stealing all my stuff. <laughs> so can they actually get away with your treasure for like good and like you not ever like get it back again? That's kind of a bit sad. You spend all that time, spend all that time trying to get all the treasure just for them to steal it away again. What a pain in the butt. I guess they gotta add some kind of challenge to it though, I suppose. Uh, apparently there is a treasure right here. Just gonna drop down a second. Grab this treasure. Why not? <laughs> Dragon Quest VIII sounds really cool though. I do like wish that they made it a little bit more accessible. Whoops! My controllers being stupid. You remember the Hammerhood plushie room? <laughs> good times. Good times. It took me so long to make. <laughs> but, you know, it's a, it's a cool memory though. Uh, there's apparently like a treasure around here somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll just 
take these guys down. Oh, okay. They're dead. Oh, it dropped a medal. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's go see. Why can't I use my powers? Oh, because my... Oh, okay. I need to build up my, my gauge. I was wondering why. Okay. Where is this treasure? Maybe it's above. Let's keep climbing up here then and maybe we will find it. That would be great. Is it up here? Did you guys find it yet? Hmm. Let's climb on my little saber cat so I find it a little easier to spot where the treasure is when you're on the saber cat. Oh, there's one here. Though I don't think this is the right one because I think the one above their heads is a golden one. I seem to be finding a lot of silvers recently, actually. So that's a bit of a pain. It's a good thing they give you Chimera Wings so you can instantly walk back. Yes. Uh, yeah, it is really good that they give you those. I haven't actually used one yet because I've always just used the train station to fast travel back. But if you're ever in a tricky spot, definitely a good good one to use. Um, it's on a little cliff. Uh, I see. I think that's very close to me, actually. Could be up here. I don't know if it is up there. Can I use that to go a bit higher? Can we go a higher again? No. Oh, wait. I can kind of get a bit higher. It's probably not all the way up there, though. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to keep trying, though. I want to see how far, how far up I can go. Do you think I could put one of my treasures up there? Do you think that's me? <laughs> Just put it like on the edge here. Do you think I could? I'm gonna try it. Put it like halfway up a mountain. There you go. <laughs> Have fun getting that treasure. <laughs> that was a little bit mean, but <laughs> I'm curious to see if anyone will actually get that. <laughs> it's like really intriguing. All right, I'm gonna try jump up here. Jump up this one. See if I can get up a bit higher. I don't think it's on this side though, but I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to work out where that little ledge is. Oh, is it down there? It could be down there. I think I know where it is. Take out these critters. Take that. You drop anything? Nope. I think the treasure's probably on that little rock. Maybe. We'll find out. Find out if it's down there or not. Could be wrong, but let's see. It's close. Very close. Around here? Oh, there it is. I thought it was down here. Monty's gonna Skyrim that mountain. <laughs> Just get that cursed horse and try and make my way up there. <laughs> In case your base gets randomly attacked. Oh yeah, that's true. You could just use that to to get back. So will there be like some kind of notification then if like my base is under attack? I'm assuming that there would be. I hope like it like you know lets you know in good time and the notification is obvious so otherwise I might miss it. When you're out exploring approach one of your monsters and hold down A to feed it. This can provide a quick power up. You can feed your monsters? Huh. I didn't know that. I guess that's the first time I've ever done something like this. I want to feed you. Let me feed you. They just run around everywhere. Gather around, dudes. It's feeding time. Here you go. Abra Caprice Alakazam. <laughs> okay, greatly increases max MP. Sure. I just want to do it to see what happens. That's, that's really all that happens. Great. <laughs> well, now I know. Because I've never done that before. Alright, cool. Let's go... Go down to the main story, which is what I was doing, and then kind of got distracted. Need to go down this way. I need to head down. Oh, I should have. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I didn't take any full damage. I do not know how I didn't take any damage there, but not complaining. It's fine. <laughs> Very strange, but all right then. Okay, let's get some items. Looks like Mogsworth is up to no good. Just gonna sleep here till morning. I think that would be good. The US version of Dragon Quest VIII on PS2 was the first Dragon Quest game ever with voice acting. Really? Wow. That's pretty... that's pretty cool. Do you mean... Oh, the first Dragon Quest... it wasn't the first game ever to have voice acting, just the first Dragon Quest game. I see, that's still cool though. 
Gah! Curse that foul creature! My stun pellets didn't have the slightest effect. Could it be that I perhaps made a bad batch? Ugh, the stunning part went just fine, but I just couldn't manage the pinching part. I never much was much of a thief. The pinching part is a bit of a, a pain in the butt. It took me a while to get the hang of it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can pinch from this creature. Can I do it? I wonder. Maybe I'm just supposed to chuck these things at him. Press the left stick to crouch, sneak up behind and pinch the, pr the possessions. How does he not know I'm here, though? That's what I want to know. Alright, whatever. Pinch it! Go, go! Give me that dragon stone. Yeah! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Do I not even have to fight him? Mia requires the amber horn. Yeah! I wasn't expecting to get my first dragon stone like that, but... Okay. <laughs> Why not? It looks like the plan works. We grabbed that dragon stone ahead of our rivals. Great work! All yeah! Right, we did it! Nice. They give you plenty of warning and time to react whenever they're attacking you, whether it be at your vault stash. Okay, that's good to know. You did it, Mia. You got the amber horn. You got the better of me, but that's just how it goes sometimes. It won't happen again, though. My Sylphanian pride won't allow it. Simply magnificent, my dear girl. You succeeded where I had failed. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I have one teeny tiny request. Would you be so kind as to give me the horn? Uh, no. Why would I give you the horn? Oh, 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 I was only joking. I do have some pride, you know. And anyway, I'm going to find even more amazing treasures that will make you green with envy. Captain Silverbones is sure to let me back into the plunderers then. As it happens, I've received a tasty tip-off that there's treasure to be found in the swoop swamp on the wing-swept moors. Kind of intrigued as to what kind of area that will be, actually. Farewell, you crazy kitty. I've never met a pirate like Mogsworth before. He's a little odd, isn't he? But I shouldn't be standing around chatting. Captain Levantia will be expecting a full report. I don't think he's going to be happy. Well, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Glad it's not me having to report to him. Yay! We got the Amberhorn. I feel like they gave up like the hunt for the amber horn really quickly they were just like oh someone else has got it well i'll just give up then <laughs> they're not very good pirates <laughs> they gave up way too quickly if you ask me um there's nothing else to do in this area now right apart from just like collect treasure i guess yeah i i guess so um yeah i guess we'll just collect some treasure and then just head on home i suppose and i guess i'll just like explore a different zone or something that would be good all right see if there's any treasure around here somewhere hopefully we can just bump into some maybe some right by this big cactus in the middle that'd be cool i need to like come back here sometime and like mess up all these super powerful creatures just because i want to <laughs> just to say that i can but Right now, they're a little bit too tough. Oh, there's a metal slime. Go, everyone. Kill all the metal slime. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> attack him. Attack him, attack him. Don't worry about the other creatures. Kill that thing. Maybe we should do a special before he gets away. Where'd he go? He's over there. Can I Can I use a special? I think he got, a he got away. No, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to use a special, but I pressed the wrong bumper. <laughs> Oopsie. It was voiced by a British circus troupe, and ever since then it's become standard for English Dragon Quest games to have British acting. Huh. That's really random. But that's cool, though, that they uh, that they do it like that. It's kind of cool, for sure. I do like the the voice acting. I liked it in Dragon Quest XI, anyway. It was cool. At least they actually have voice acting, unlike Pokemon still behind the times over there <laughs> i guess like it cuts costs though you don't have to hire voice actors i suppose i wonder if that's why they do it i don't know very strange all right onwards let's find some treasures why is my dragon getting scared they're only like yellow they're not even like that high level at least i don't think so anyways so I don't know what's going on there. Alright guys, 
Let's go. I still haven't been attacked yet. I wonder when the uh, when they start attacking you in this game. I'm kind of curious to see what actually happens when they uh, they do mountain attack. I might just go home, you know, so I'm really not having too much luck with, with treasures here. And I'm getting a bit impatient, so I'm going to use a Chimera Wing. First time I've used one. And we're just gonna zoom back home. Let's go home. That would be cool. I want to see what happens in the storyline when we return this. I did get a couple of treasures, but not not that much. What, what did we get? It? Oh, it's a festive those. Jessica. I remember Jessica. Vaguely. From Heroes. <laughs> Strength Not ring. And we got a genie lamp. Is this a good item or something? Nightlight. Lamp that summons the shadows of night. Cool. Yeah, I only got like 500k there. But that's okay. I didn't get that much treasure anyways. Alright, Mia has some special treasure that hasn't been appraised. I got something else to appraise apparently. Oh yeah my horn. Iconic! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> awesome! Super special item! Do we get money for this? Oh, Whoa! 11! 11! That's crazy! That's a really nice sum of money right there. Someone in the gang's been polishing the troves. Oh, I get even more money. Money from just every every wow. corner. <laughs> Jessica is from Dragon Quest 8 as well. Nice! Yeah, I'd, what, what Dragon Quest is Yangus from? So I like him as well. Am I gonna rank up again? Probably from the Dragonstone, right? Because that gave me so much. So yeah, that just like instantly ranked me up again. <laughs> so that was cool. I wonder if anything happens on this rank up. Sometimes little things happen when you rank up. Hello there, Mia. You really have collected an awful lot of treasure. I mean, I've been trying to. Now before I forget, I've got a message from you from the foreman. As you know, he's hard at work digging down in the snarl. And he says he's found some stairs leading further underground. Aha! Uh -huh. Mia and the others head to the snarl to see what the foreman has found. Let's go see. So we can go even further down here. More like waves of monsters to defeat, <laughs> I guess. Hey! It's Eric again. You gonna come with me? <laughs> I heard the foreman dug up something interesting. Let's go check it out. Foreman uncovered a set of stairs which lead deeper underground. I'm sure there's treasure galore down there. Let's take a closer look. The second level of the snarl is now accessible. Yay. Though, they're just like... They're just like waves of monsters. Nothing too crazy down there. But that's okay. It's a tablet. We got another tablet here. Cool stuff. This is going to take us to the next um, stone. Seek the citrine talon off the far-flung edge of a grassy land. Look beyond the Pinion Plateau where the mighty warriors roam. So that's where we're going to find the next stone. The wing wing swept moors is where we're going to be looking next. All right. I believe it's located on the moors. We should be able to find it. That Not sounds doable. I'm a bit worried about those mighty warriors. Doesn't it sound dangerous? I wonder if they're like from wow. past Dragon Quest games. They would be really cool if that was if that was the case. I probably won't recognize many of them, but still, it would be kind of cool. You've discovered new information. Yes, set this as my current objective. Young Yangus, kind of how this is young Eric Mia. Yangus is from 8. He had a spin-off game too, Japan only. Was that the mystery dungeon game? I think Yangus was in some mystery dungeon games, right? Yeah, Jessica and Yangus are from the same one. Ah, okay. The team is Yangus, Jessica and Angelo. I don't know if I ever saw Angelo. I don't know if he was in Heroes. I don't think he was. Unless... I remember there being like a special secret boss. Maybe that was Angelo? I actually don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so we're gonna go check out this underground area. Where is it? Down this way? I think it's down this way. Yeah, yeah, it's down here. Alright, wow, that really does go down pretty far. Let's just jump all the way down to the bottom. Alright, see what these guys are up to. There's another level under here, I'm sure of it. 
if I put my back into it, I'm sure I'll clear it in no time. If you don't like feel, feel like tackling all this says... Okay, now the fast travel makes sense because you're actually quite far down here. What was the point of this though? There's like nothing down here. Like nothing at all. I thought like I would be able to go into one of those portals again, but I don't see anything down that way. Maybe ahead. Maybe up. Let's try go up instead. Maybe there's something up this way. Maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe that's what- I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I think that was what it was. Alright, let's go in here. You've already completed the B1 port- Oh, I've already done that one. Oh, maybe- oh, okay. Maybe it was the other one that I was looking at. I just confused myself. Was it this one here that I was supposed to go into? Let's have a look. This is a level 20 one. So it's pretty much my level. Let's go into the B2 portal then. And see if we can- beat up the monsters to a pulp. Let's beat them up. It's a dungeon game. Angelo is in Heroes 2 whereas Yangus is only in 1. Hmm. I think he, if he was in Heroes it must have been very brief because I, I really don't remember him too much. I really don't remember him too much at all to be honest. <laughs> but I don't know. What was the little like um there was like a character in Heroes that was like a wolf boy what Dragon Quest is he in? Because he, he was kind of cool as well. I wouldn't mind playing that one too. <laughs> so many Dragon Quest games. Alright, heal up a little bit. That's good. Don't think we need to use a special for this because these guys are down anyway. There we go. Let's go to the next level. He's from 7. Ah, so that one is from a different, a different Dragon Quest game. So many, so many Dragon Quest games. Hello. I'm a traveling merchant. Haven't sold much since I flew down here by mistake. Still, can't just give up. Is there something you'd like to buy? Uh, maybe. Heal pellets. Panacea pellets. I didn't know they had panacea pellets. They're expensive. I'll just buy five. And I'll buy two of these. That seems good. <laughs> he makes some really weird noises. Okay, we're going to take a break. And we're going to rest here, get all our characters up to full health, so then we can defeat all our enemies. Very nice. Uh, maybe I should feed them. Gather around, I will feed you. I'm pretty sure I can feed them. Yeah, I can. Where are you going? Alright, here we go. Have some steak or something. There you go, I fed the dragon. I'm just going to feed one because it's just a bit of a pain to actually feed them in this game. It's kind of annoying. Okay, let's do this. I need to get my, like, my sword power up so I can do some special skills. That would be really nice. I don't seem to be able to do any at the moment, sadly. Oh my gosh, the characters is kind of dying here. Chuck that one over there. I think you need a bit more, don't you? Here, here. Take it, little golem. Very nice. I made him very happy. Where's the enemy at? Over here. Chuck them. Chuck these little pellets at them. Ouch. Uh, let's get some health. <laughs> that was a little, a little spicy. But that's okay. Has everything been defeated? All right. Good stuff. Let's go to the next level. Let's see how far this goes. Welcome back, Mega Eevee! Considering the 3DS can run 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 is the Dragon Quest handheld, it does seem... It does seem to be the case. I don't really want to get a 3DS though. <laughs> Seems like a pain in the butt to get one. Like, I'm hoping that they will redo them. They're doing the very old Dragon Quest games in the Octopath Traveler art style so it would make sense that they would do the other ones as well. I'm kind of hoping that they will. <laughs> I feel like there's a good chance. <laughs> so there's that as well. Morty, it's a good thing you got the tiger because one of the levels islands has pools of poison that you can't normally get across without taking damage. Oh really? Will my tiger help me get across it or something? That seems kind of cool. All right we're gonna do some power over here. We're gonna use golem power. Go, Ruby, Golem, beat him up. We got this. Ground slam. This should do a nice bit of damage. Maybe even take him out. Oh, yep. 
I took everything out. <laughs> took everything out in one blow. We can just go straight to the next level. That was pretty easy. All right. Do we have any more? We got she slimes. We're on level seven here. Maybe there'll be a boss at the end of the levels. That'd kind of be cool. It would be nice if they changed up the areas of these areas though. It's a very small arena. It really is small. All right, on to the next one. Really get through it fast though. Multi is consulist against handheld Nintendo devices. I'm playing on one right now. <laughs> I'm playing on a Switch. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> I, I do like the handheld. I just, I got so many consoles already. I don't want to get any more. <laughs> I'm already all like consoled out. <laughs> That's even a word. All right, heal up. Good stuff. I don't like, I've barely any room for any more consoles anyway, like on my shelves, on my gaming shelves. They're all fill up with consoles and things. I don't even have a place for my Xbox, it just kind of sits underneath my, my desk. So I've got like nowhere for it to go. <laughs> There's just too much. I've actually had to store away my Xbox 360 and PS3 as well, so I just, I got nowhere to put it. It's a pain in the butt. Also, the PS3 is so big. It takes up so much room. Alright. Oh, there's a powerful monster on the other side. Should probably heal up a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to use normal pelts here. Give you a bit of health. There you go, dude. He's full. And give my dragon a bit of health. And my golem. Alright, good. We are prepared. Ready. Let's go fight the boss. I'm ready. Let's beat him up. I wonder what kind of boss it will be this time. I don't remember what the first one was for, for this area. Ultramarine? It looks kind of cool. I, I like it. I like it. How much damage do you think this will do? <laughs> you should change your main channel to miss enough consoles. <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> but <laughs> it would be fitting. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yeah, we need... We need health. Gonna heal my little my little dragon down here. Don't want them to die. Here, take this life. Here, Spot. Spot, stop moving. Here, let me heal you. Alright. We're good. I think. Everybody's like full health. Like near enough. I'll go back to hitting them with my slingshot. I'm gonna stay away, cause. This thing does quite a lot of damage here. Okay, oh boy. He's really doing a number on my monsters here. But that's alright. I think we're gonna conquer it. We got this. Swap to the splish pellets. Water damage. Not sure how much how effective that is. I actually think yeah, frizz ones are more effective. He doesn't like frizz pellets. He's nearly dead. We got this. Ta-da! Defeated! Yay! <laughs> you need to find physical copies even if you had a 3DS and many are already quite expensive. What for the Dragon Quest games? Oh no. Yeah, saying that, I actually I saw a DS game in the shop window the other day for like £100. I don't remember what game it was, but I looked at it and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? That's like, that's like ages, like, like, really old generation handheld right there and it's so expensive must have been like a collector's game or something I don't know what it was though I cannot for the life of me remember I just remember seeing it and just being like what the heck <laughs> the enemy seems to have dropped something Mia acquires five chop oh yeah we got sanguinite good stuff we did it did you see the Baldur's Gate 3 trailer yeah it looked so good it actually looked really really good I love that Minx was was in it as well and the the like um the whole what was it those little things that go inside the brain the mind flayer thing that was cool i'm re really intrigued by that looks like it's another tablet Come on. let's see what it says the 3ds in japan had dragon quest 10 was that the mmo was it on 3ds no way surely not <laughs> the lapis tail sleeps silently beneath the glistening snows of a mountain peak Ooh, an icy area We'll have to go to an icy area for that one. This one mentions the lapis tail. 
very cool. It said something about the glistening snows of a mountain peak somewhere in the hinter quarters. Hmm. Mm. The lapis tail is buried somewhere in snow. Great. It's good that we've got the fortune finder. It is indeed. All right. Very nice. Let's put that in our pocket and be on our way. <laughs> You've discovered a new quest. Nah, we're not doing that quest yet. I already have a different one that I've got, like, equipped. So I think we should do the other one first. I gotta go to the moors for the other dragonstone. So we'll conquer that one first, I think. But now we know where two dragonstones are. So that's pretty awesome. Ah! I'm being attacked! Rival gangs are alerted to your tre treasure troves as soon as you display them in the vault. Check the flag in the station square to fight off would-be thieves. I'm being attacked! The base is under attack! No! Let's go in. Let's go and take them, take them down. How dare they attack my base? Who do they think they are? I think it was the cutie clowns, wasn't it? Uh, I think I gotta get... You know what? Uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the square and we'll go back this way so it's faster. I don't have to walk all the way up the steps. <laughs> so that would be awesome. Hello, Anjin. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're well. Marcy, are you winning? I'm trying. I gotta do, I gotta protect my base. These guys are attacking me. All right, let's do it. The cutie clowns have come for your black moss statue. Attempt to fight them. Heck yeah. Let's take them down. How dare they attempt to fight me. Defeat the rival gang. Here they come. Oh my gosh. These big massive slime peoples. Okay, um, I probably want to use some pellets here. I got these fizz pellets. They seem to be working out pretty well. I like the fizz pellets, actually. Get out of here, you horrible slimes. Thinking you can take my treasure. It's my treasure. You cannot have it. Tag them with these little uh, water slime things. Any more? Okay, there's more down this way as well. All right, get them, get them. Oh, I've run out of pellets. Uh, we'll use the bang pellets. Bang pellets seem good. My dragon gauge is filling. Nice. We did it. Yeah. Ain't no pirates taking my treasure. It's all mine. <laughs> Red spires in the base. Where are they at? <laughs> Your treasure trove is safe. Yay. <laughs> I'll send you a video about Dragon Quest on the 3DS. Okay. I played a lot of the EA. It's still a lot of fun since you can multiplayer the story. I kind of regret like not getting the the early access because it would have been a lot cheaper as well back then. <laughs> but I, I didn't get it. You defended your statue from the cutie clowns. Yay. Do I get a reward for that? So this is what I was protecting. My awesome statue. I guess it went up in value because someone tried to to take it. <laughs> but that's cool. Let's see if we've got any new plimps. It's been a while, actually, since I actually checked this area. We do have a new plimp. We have a new plimp over here. I'm gonna go and display something. Or oh, we should display... Oh, you can't... You can't display the quest items. That kind of sucks. Why not? You would think you would be able to. Let's see, what do I want to display on this one? There's quite a few items here to display now. You can also display bric-a-brac as well. So that's cool. You can display some of the little monsters. <gasps> hammerhood! I want to display the hammerhood. Yes! Put the hammerhood on there, that's super cute. Uh, I don't know what else you can display. Let's have a look. Cards and mirrors and weird things because <laughs> why not let's display the wiggly worm from dragon quest we're just gonna have all dragon quest builders items <laughs> all displayed across here <laughs> it is cool i think the rock bomb was in dragon quest builders yes i have a dragon quest <laughs> builders plimp collection <laughs> it actually looks really cool though i like it it looks very cool i want more plimps I don't know if they're if they'll give us like any more rooms that you can go into for these. I feel like these doors should be able to open, so you should be able to like put some more plimps in or something. That would be really cool. Hello, let's see what potential recruits we've got here. 
Let's have a look. We've had an applicant. A monster has heard about the gang's exploits and has applied to join. Mmm, a silver mud thing. Oh, we got some cool looking creatures here. I'm going to get this spectre, decided? actually. Come and join job. my crew, little dude. Yay. He has joined. Very nice. Ah, damn controller. Keeps doing that. <laughs> But that's okay. Uh, no, we don't want to reorganize. We are fine. We got anything else going on that I want to like put into the team? I think, I think we're like mostly okay, actually. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, don't think I can add any more facilities right now, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we should do some more Hello, monster yeah. dispatches. Ah, that would be awesome. Let's see what treasure we get. From this one hopefully something new super success yay oh god damn <laughs> I really need to get a new controller <laughs> it's really annoying it's like whenever I move it when I whenever I move my controller down just like have to sit super still <laughs> are we gonna get any treasure from this one hopefully we do hopefully it's not a replica oh yeah we got something what is that? Gangster statue. I like it. I've never seen one of those before. Don Claw Leone statue. He's the leader of a gang of particularly prickly platypunks. How cool is that? Look how many tails he's got. Is he sitting on a couch? He's sitting on like some kind of sofa thing. It's cool. Well, I like it. That's a cool statue. Maybe even would display that one. Maybe. <laughs> Thankfully they attacked your base while you were still there. Yeah, I definitely uh, lucked out there. Sure? Send these ones off. Let's see what this game is find. letting Morty's greedy side comes come out to play. She's my treasuring over many things today. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it is a little bit. Just got back from my Where cousin's 30th and I'm a bit tired. Oh, I hope you had fun though, even if it was... A little bit tiring. All right, let's send these ones sure? out. Good stuff. Let's Started playing Sonic Adventure fun. today after I finally got it working on my PC. Nice. Is it good? Are you enjoying it? Is that different from? I'm guessing that's a different game from Frontiers. That's like the only Sonic game I I know about. I don't know about. I don't know many things about Sonic. <laughs> I'm not really like. Haven't really played my, many Sonic games. Just the Ooh, classic sick. ones. But like, I think everybody has played those. At least once, right? <laughs> All right. Let's put a little team together here, and we're gonna send these guys out on an expedition. Where do we want to send these guys? I'm gonna send you to Wing Swept Moors. Yep, out you go. Off they go on a new adventure. Don Clawleone is my new favorite pun name. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. All right, there you go. I got three different dispatches going off there. I seem to have got some new materials. A lot of new materials. Nice. Good stuff. I like that. All right. Um, what I want to do quickly is I just want to <laughs> swap with him. Just because there's a quest to swap with him. So let's do that. You are now controlling Eric. It's my time to shine. He's like super happy. <laughs> Um, so that should have completed one of my daily quests, which is why I did it. <laughs> so we can complete this quest over here. I do prefer playing as Mia though. You can change whenever you want, so it's kind of cool. Alright, completed this one here. Very good. Jolly good. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I still haven't done these, the, the wild side one. I'm not sure how you do that one. And for these quests here, I should have one out of five. Yeah, I got one out of five for the Daybreakers. Oh, I got two out of five for the Cutie Clowns as well. So that's just going to kind of complete by itself, like, as we progress. <laughs> so that's cool. Hellish Rebuke is one of my favorite Warlock spells. When you're attacked from anything that targets your AC, you counter with a fire attack. Ooh, sounds cool. The time limit for the quest Metal Detective, the hint to Quarterlands is up. It looks like you weren't able to complete it. What quest was that? Metal Detective, the hint to Quarters. 
I didn't even know I had a quest called that. <laughs> There's so many quests though. Uh, so I'm not sure what that was about. I don't know if it was like... I don't know. It pr probably wasn't anything important anyway. So it's fine. I'm gonna it's, it's swap nice back now. with with this character here. Were you talking about Dragon Quest? Um, not Dragon Quest. Um, were you talking about Boulder's Gate, by the way, Rennie? I think you were talking about Boulder's Gate, right? But I'm not 100% sure there. <laughs> but isn't isn't that crazy? But only as a cloud game. It was on the 3DS. A cloud game? They did cloud games on the 3DS? Has cloud been going for that long? I didn't even know they had been going for such a long time, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's kind of crazy. All right, so what are we going to do now? Let's see. I think I might explore a new area. Uh, probably where the quest is would be a cool one to go for. How am I doing on my adventure quest? I want to see my progress on that. Oh, I've done three of them. I just haven't done the wild side ability. How do you do that? I don't even know what the wild side ability is. I'm gonna look this up because I have no idea how you even even do that a second. Wild side wild side ability. Press and hold bumper. Huh, how have I not done this already though? I'm not really sure. Dragon attack and wild side are, if you pour it, boil it down, pretty much the same thing. Oh, they're the same thing? Okay. It just, like, confused me with the wording, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. Do you have Dragon Quest X on the Switch? Do you mean Dragon Quest X? Isn't that 10? I don't know. I don't have that. Is that is that's even on the Switch? I didn't know it was. <laughs> I also spent... Four hours getting my PS4 controller connected to my PC. Oh no. I'm glad you managed to get it connected in the end. Does it not automatically pick it up? I thought that I thought that they usually just automatically just pick up your controllers when you plug them in with a USB stick. But I don't know. Um, I got quest for Mogsworth. Ooh. Mogsworth has a treasure chest in that area. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so we have, I would say, fully explored most of Paternoggin and Cinderback, apart from like the bottom levels, but they would be too strong to for us to do anyway. Um, the main story quest is in Windswept Moors, so I think this will be a good place to explore next. We've never, never like gone to this place just yet. So let's go explore it. <laughs> Are you still having fun with this game? Yeah, it's fun exploring all like the different areas and stuff. But um, I mean, I don't know. I do wish there was a bit like more storyline in between each thing because I don't know, just like there's not too much to mix it up with from the exploration. It's fun exploring around and stuff, but I feel like I would get bored if I played this game for like really long periods of time. So like it's okay at the moment I think but yeah I don't know I wish there was a bit more storyline involved because it's all very simple with the storyline I think the storyline is kind of um not as much as I thought it would be so there was a lot of story when I first started playing and now it's died down like quite a lot and now I'm wanting it to come back <laughs> are you Mia the one that Mr Houston's been talking about how do you do I miss Kensington, the station master. As soon as dear old Houston informed me that the terminal was operational, I came here and resumed my post. Okay, I got a, I think this is just quest to fix up the station. If you get them all working, I will make sure you're amply rewarded. Nice. Okay. Definitely gotta repair those. Sanguinite. Very nice. Don't feel bad about looking that up. I had to look up how to give your monsters orders since the game doesn't tell you how to do that. It does, but you what have you to want? look for it. <laughs> you know when you, you know Levantia, where you go and get the challenges from him on the very first island, there is a NPC in that camp. And if you talk to them, they have like some tutorials on them that tell you how to do orders. So it does tell you how to, but you have to look for it. <laughs> so I am not surprised that you missed it, to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, we gotta go find the the three stations. 
that's okay. I done that. I done like some of these quests already. They they do repeat all the quests in the same in the areas as well. I'm noticing. So like, obviously we've got the station quests again, and I was kind of hoping for another challenge thing in one of these areas, but so far there's only been challenges from Levanta. But like, oh no, give me something something else to do. We got something going on over here. See that balloon? We made it, you know. It's so pretty I could stare at it all day long. And those lips look just like mine, don't you think? Don't go kissing them, though. Uh, okay? What? What balloon are you talking about, exactly? Okay. That thing up there? Am I supposed to, like, whack it or something? Oh, maybe they have done some different things with, um, with this area. I was kind of hoping for some like different quests or something because they were like all the same <laughs> so we'll see crystal bunny suit okay oh wow there's a ton of treasure around it look at all this treasure there's so much someone's just put mad treasure down here <laughs> i'm gonna take it all i'm gonna fill up all my bags of online treasure <laughs> my pc is old so it took forever to figure oh, out how to do it ah uh, I set up a controller on my laptop last year, it took 10 minutes. Oh wow, it looks like you need a PC upgrade. I do too. <laughs> Good night, Alice. Thank you for stopping by. Must have missed that, missed that MP some somehow. Not sure how, because I play pretty thoroughly. Hmm. I don't know. Um, it Maybe it was the one back at the beginner bit. You know where you first start the game and there's that little pink slime that helps you through the door? Maybe it was back there I found it. I know it was in a camp though. It was in some kind of camp that I found it. It was on stream. I just can't remember where it was. <laughs> Dig it all up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get all the treasure. Someone's left some crazy, crazy treasure here. I don't know how they've put so much down. They would have had to have like come in and then like kept reloading it to put this much treasure in one spot. Because I think you can only put like one treasure down per like per, per, per spot. I think this is enough to fill up my bags completely. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Ta-da! Yeah! Give me all the goodies! So much treasure! I'm leveling up like crazy over here as well. And I haven't even moved from the like, the starting area. <laughs> I haven't even gone anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I'll probably play Pathfinder again while waiting for Baldur's Gate 3. Fortune. Haven't done the Midnight Island DLC. I hope you I hope you enjoy it. Pathfinder's been out for a while, right? I'm pretty sure it has. Wrath of the Righteous is 60% off. Good time to get it. Nice. Sounds good. I think they have one of those Pathfinder games on Game Pass as well, Whoa. actually. Ta-da! Now we are full. My inventory is full, so that's cool. There's a shopkeeper here. Hello, a customer. I knew that opening the shop was a good decision. I'm sure lots of goomans will come and shop here now. Okay, what do you sell? Pebbles, pellets. Okay, I'm guessing that when you unlock the shopkeeper in your base, it will just sell pellets and stuff. The difference would be that... Actually, I think you can buy pellets with money from the, the pellet shopkeeper, so I don't know if it will do that. I don't know actually. Who knows? Anyway, Should let's go back to the base. Because I filled up my inventory with treasures, so <laughs> let's do that. Multi's going to be rich! Yeah! <laughs> I think they have Kingmaker. Kingmaker? I'm not sure which one it was. Still working through my advent calendar. Looking forward to this one. It's called Candy Kittens. Are you not just opening them all on, on, on day one? <laughs> I thought that's how advent calendars work. You're actually just waiting every day for one chocolate? Just open them all on day one. <laughs> or just save the whole thing for Christmas day and then just open every single one. <laughs> I'm just, I'm terrible with those things. Crystal bunny, that's really nice. I like the crystal bunny outfits. What is that? Some kind of like, is that a mouse, pa mouse mat? <laughs> a graph? I don't know, why is it all blue? Is it because it it it's like online goodies or something? So many items. Oh, look at that. Slime, King Slime teapot. That's cool. I would totally get that, even though I don't even like tea or coffee. I would just totally get it because it's cool. I want it. Give it to me. <laughs> That's cool. 
cool stuff. All right, treasure has been sent to the vault. Very nice. I don't know how much that like gave me. I have no idea. Let's look at my my gang a second. Did that not give me any any money? Oh wait, I think it did. Okay, I don't think it gave very much though. Pretty sure it didn't. Okay, well, we're done with that, so I'm just going to head right back out again to the same place. I open them day by day but have them on the weekends, so Friday to Sunday it's a brew dog one, so beer. Sounds so weird. Be beer chocolate. <laughs> Sounds weird. Like, why would you ruin chocolate with bitter beer though? <laughs> well, see, you don't drink tea? No, I don't. <laughs> I drink... I mostly drink like, just like juice. Just like, it's basically just flavoured water, I guess. I suppose. You know when you just add a little bit and then fill the rest with water. I mostly drink that or I drink like fizzy pop sometimes. Or I have a hot chocolate. So yeah, that's usually what I have. I'm just, I don't know, I've never really been a tea person. Even though it's supposedly a very British thing to do. But I don't. Oh my god, I nearly killed myself doing that. There's more down here. Should I grab all this loot? There's even more. Let's grab all the treasure. There's still more treasure here. <laughs> I'm having a field day with all this treasure. I don't think this is enough to fill up my to fill up my bags this time. But it's gotta I'll grab them anyway. I think there's like three here now. So I'm actually surprised it stayed here. So I didn't think it would. Not chocolate, it's a beer advent calendar. My chocolate one, which I also have, is a is it oh Lindor. Is that what you have? The truffles? It, what do you mean beer advent calendar? What do they do? Put just like a whole can of beer in the in the day or something? <laughs> like what? I've never heard of that before. It sounds very strange. I don't really play much on my PC so I'm not bothered about upgrading it. It's an old Windows 7 PC. Ah, just play Sonic and The Sims. The, the best, the best thing um, for The Sims is definitely PC. It's really awkward on the consoles for sure. It's like I've tried some of The Sims on consoles and it's a little bit awkward, definitely. Okay, I mean, I've just used up three spaces, but it should be okay. Where is this? Okay, I've got to somehow get up there. Or do I just hit it? We'll just hit it. Yeah, let's hit it. So what does this do? I'm curious. I've got some kind of quest here. What is happening? Oi, what do you think you're doing? Who goes around popping other people's balloons without permission? Um, I don't know, it, I like... <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just too tempting. Wow, she made bursting our super balloons look so easy. Still, she only popped one balloon, Shambles. We made an awful lot of them, remember? Maybe you're right. We've certainly got enough balloons to go round. That's right, let's fill the world with our balloons. Such dastardly deeds cannot go unpunished. How dare you? <laughs> Wouldn't all those balloons get in everyone's way? It doesn't seem like the smartest idea. Think you can stop us, huh? I wouldn't fancy my chances if I were you. <laughs> Our balloons are hidden all over the world. Even in the most unlikely locations, I advise you to give up now. However, if you can somehow pop ten balloons, Shady will give you one of his treasures. I will? But won't that mean I will lose my treasure, Shambles? You'll keep your treasure. Don't worry. Think about it. There's no way she can burst at ten balloons. Oh yeah, why didn't I think of that? You really are smart, Shambles. Of course I am. Now listen here. This is a challenge. I want to see how many balloons you can pop. So why don't you show us what you've got? You know ten isn't very much, right? Like, I don't know why you think that I can't do that. <laughs> Crazy crazy dudes one beer per day that is so strange i did not know that they do calendars like that was that like really expensive i imagine like a calendar that gives you like a beer a day of would be pretty pricey but i don't know i've never seen them before so i have no idea we got some random soggy hands over here oh my gosh there's another online chest down this way Guess I can go grab this one too. Why not? 
I resorted to drinking tea when I found out the hard way that energy destroys your teeth. Yeah, they do. Especially if you drink them every day that like, like I was. I don't drink energy drinks every day. I do drink fizzy pop sometimes. Um, but uh, I used to drink fizzy pop like every day. <laughs> and then I had to have like two root canals done. So <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the best. <laughs> I stopped doing it after, after that. <laughs> so yeah, I have to kind of... Be careful with, with with fizzy pop, but I do still have it sometimes. Um, definitely energy drinks. Um, I did go through a little phase where I did have energy drinks quite often. Not every single day, but I did have them like quite a bit. But then I just I stopped. So, yeah, I've never really had a problem with the energy drink one. Mostly fizzy drinks. Sims Two is where it's at. <laughs> Sims Two. Sims Two is pretty good. I think I spent the most time on Sims 3, actually. They had some some good expansion packs. Sims 2 and 3 were pretty good though. They had some good expansion packs on both of those. Now the newer Sims is just like terrible. The stuff that like the expansion packs, like it's just like crazy the amount you get for the expansion packs. Like you just you get barely anything. They really have just turned into money hungry you know a money hungry fan franchise sadly pricey up there's many different kinds of advent calendars if you look even a cheese based one wow i mean i guess i guess they just like want to make money i guess <laughs> makes sense i suppose i didn't know those kinds of advent calendars were a thing i just thought it was chocolate ones but i guess not <laughs> you had a lego one oh cool Every day you build a different part of the Christmas scene. That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> I would actually really love one of those. Sims 3 is really good through is really good too. Yeah, I liked Sims 3. Did you ever play the classic one? The very first Sims game. Oh my gosh. Very nostalgic, the first one. I remember playing that on like really old school computer. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I think my treasure is around. Oh, yeah, I see it already. It is right there. Already like halfway on my treasures, but that's okay. Money hungry franchises is EA specialty. This is true. <laughs> they do, they have kind of gone backwards. You have one soda pop a day. What, what soda pop do you have? Is it Coca Cola? Is it the enemy? Coca Cola is the enemy. It's just too good for this world. <laughs> it really, it's really bad for you. But it's so tasty though. I don't know anyone who doesn't like Coke. Like what? Coke's so good. All right, let's go down this way and I think it's around one of these rocks. There it is. Found you. You have still have Sims 1 and all of its expansions. I don't have like every single one, but yeah, I do have a few of the Sims 1. Dr. Pepper. It's gotta be Dr. Pepper is pretty good too. Actually, I prefer Coke, but Dr. Pepper is good. I would drink it if I didn't have Coke. <laughs> For sure. Okay, what's this up here? Let's grab this little thing. A leaf or a leaf? Very nice. I got some Fanta Twist for, for Christmas, actually, so I really love Fanta Twist. It's good. Still very bad for you though. Hey, you stole my treasure. How dare you? Who do you think you are? There we go. I got it back. Everything's good. <laughs> good stuff. Yay, I got some incense. I used to do 24 hour shifts in the army, so that's what we got got me addicted to energy drinks. Oh no. I can see why you were drinking energy drinks. 24 hour shifts? What? That should be illegal. <laughs> that sounds like hell. That sounds really horrible. Do you not like get more breaks? You should get you should get like a ton of breaks if you're doing that long. Like that's that's insane. <laughs> Next to Diablo 2 and Baldur's Gate 1. Nice classic collection. I approve. <laughs> I've got the big box version of Baldur's Gate. It doesn't fit on my shelf, so it lives under my under my bed. I never, I don't know, I think my brother might have had that big box of Baldur's Gate as well, but I don't have it. 
Sounds cool though. Very cool indeed. I remember seeing my older brother playing the first Baldur's Gate. Like, you know, back back in back in the good times. <laughs> oh my god, so many years ago. Grab that. That's how I first saw Baldur's Gate. The first Baldur's Gate anyways. Got some slimes. Goodbye slimes. Yay. Very nice. Lots of little goodies and things. I'm finding a lot of items. I'm nearly full of treasure already, so I'm gonna have to go back soon. I've still got tons of places to explore down here too. Just drop down on the beach. There's an orc king. Let's see if we can take him down. Let's do... Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use that because I want to use my dragon thing for my quest. So I think I've got to do that. I kind of want to use my abilities for my like characters, but probably best to not do that. Let's unleash the dragon. Because I think I've got to do this for a quest anyway. Yeah, there you go. There's a quest done there. I got a lodestone, whatever that is. I'm zooming around. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I love how fast you run. Like, in this mode. It's pretty cool. I got a back attack. Good stuff. I'm close to a quest over here. Probably should have been looking out for balloons this whole time, right? So I haven't really been, like, looking. And there was a quest for those. I'm assuming they're not marked on the map. You just kind of have to find them as you go. Oh, is this a... Oh, this is a station. We're going to repair a station over here as well. So let's do that. Hey, dude. It's a station master. Going to hand over some things. Oh, I have, I have enough to repair this whole thing. So I don't need to worry about just going to find some stuff so that's cool yay you're gonna head off okay Anjin thank you for stopping by I learned what a dampier was from watching vampire hunter d I've not watched that so I don't know what it is <laughs> I don't know oh half vampires so your character is alive but you have some undead immunities and heal from negative energy sounds interesting actually sounds kind of cool uh since I'm close to the to the station here we just got to find this last treasure it looks like there is one nearby somewhere maybe above maybe yeah i reckon i reckon up here let's just fling ourselves up let's see if it's up here got there is a silver one up here so i guess i could just get that one and then probably just vacate that would be an idea yeah let's do that let's grab this one ah no, he got me. I guess I should take out the Orc King first. <laughs> Might be an idea. All right, there we go. Thank you so much, Marco, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Okay, it's an anim anime based off a book. Two movies. Ah, I see. It's gotta be worth a fortune. I see. I didn't know they had they had a book, so that's cool. But yeah, I've not watched that one. <laughs> that I think that that. Anime's been around for a while, hasn't it? The uh, Vampire Hunter, I think it has, but I don't know, I just never got around to watching that one. Same thing, I've never watched Van Helsing, and that's supposed to be really good as well. I should. <laughs> There's uh, some real classic ones that I've not actually ever had the chance to to watch. I think Van Helsing's supposed to be really gory as well. Two movies, second movie has much better animation. Ah, it's pretty old at this point. Yeah, I, I missed out on those <laughs> for some reason. Fanta Twist is even tasty when it goes flat. Nice as a juice drink in the summer. It's it's really good, yeah. <laughs> it's tasty. Kind of high in sugar though, but not as bad as Coke. <laughs> so at least like, you know, there's that. Helsing Ultimate. Not Van Helsing. Huh? Um... I don't really know well, what you mean exciting. there. Does it is it not called that? I don't know. All right, I got. Oh wow, before. that's a really cool statue. I really like that one. They're super cute. So many little dudes down there. And we've got an iron axe. Those were just replica ones. And we've got what else? We got holy lance. Okay, some random parts. A rock. <laughs> 
thanks for the rock, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know. I wonder if those replicas are even worth picking up. I don't know. I feel like they don't give you money towards the vault thing. I could be wrong, but I'm not really sure if they do. Alright. It's night time over here. I think I did a quest, didn't I? What quest did I do? I did this quest here. Nice. Monstrous Sight at the mainland is the the last one that I've got to do for the the daily quest there. We should go check we should go check the recruitment board, see if there's anything going on there. There is Helsing and then Helsing Ultimate. Oh, there's two different types? I had no idea. <laughs> I thought it was just Helsing. The anime you're thinking of is Helsing Ultimate. There's an anime called Helsing, but it's not adapted well. And then it was readapted more faithfully. Oh, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize there was two different ones. I thought it was just the one. Guess not. Ultimate is more accurate to the manga. Ah, I see. I see. They always mess up the animes from, like, the source material, don't they? It kind of sucks when that happens. It's a shame. Pain in the butt. And then you have to, like, go and remake them. <laughs> Just make it right the first time. <laughs> I don't know how they, like, veer off so much from the original. Maybe they think it was, like, a good idea at the time. I don't know. Alright. Let's invite this little piglet. You're so cute. You're such a little cute piglet. Come and join. Come and join the gang. Little dude. Excellent. Grab this little Draki as well. Why not? We've got an important job Helsing was made and finished before the manga was. Oh, I see. So they just like did a different ending then. When the manga was finished, they made Ultimate, which was closer to the proper ending. Oh, okay. Excellent. That makes sense. <laughs> I see. I mean, I don't know if that's better or not, but like, the, it could be worse. They could have just put like a bunch of fillers in and dragged it out until the manga was finished, which is what they do with other animes like One Piece and Naruto and, you know, the really, really long running ones. And then it kind of just like becomes super deflating to watch because like I was watching the One Piece anime and then... I got fed up with the fillers and just went to the manga, so it was driving me mad. So, <laughs> yeah, it sucks when they do that as well. It's really annoying. So at least they didn't do that. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, yeah. I watch yeah, Brotherhood. I love that anime. The anime is really good. Some good animes out there. Definitely. What are you doing? Scaling cliffs in a single bound. Oh, yeah. With the Thor Forte thing. I never used the scan ability actually. I have I think scan and stealth are the ones I've used the least in this game. <laughs> I've used the other ones quite a quite a lot though. Gonna go see if we can get closer to some more objectives here. Station master, find the treasure chest for Mogsworth. Find and bring back Oh, I'd like to do that one so we can get the restaurant. These are just station ones. And the main story is all the way down there. The main story is really far away. I think I'm going to go for that one there. Just need to see which one I'm looking at. I think it's that one down there. Yeah, we're going to go get the restaurant. I would love to get the restaurant. So then we can see what cooking is like in this game. This, I really want to do that. That'd be awesome. Morty, how's your day going? Not too bad. How is your day going, Evie? Do you feel good? Do you feel... Do you feel energized? I hope you do. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this chest. In the first Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, a lot of people's favourite season is Waking the Dragon and it was a filler arc. Oh really? So they do make good filler arcs sometimes. <laughs> I've not ever seen a filler arc that I've been like, wow, this is amazing. I never really watched Yu-Gi-Oh! so I don't know. I don't know anything about the filler arcs. I obviously know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is, but I've never really watched it, so... I don't know too much about it. You're feeling better. I'm glad. I'm glad you're recovering well. That's good to hear. Okay, um, oh, we got a silver chest down this way somewhere. I don't actually see where it is. I think we're in a very hostile area right here as well. Probably need to be careful. Oh, it's down here. I found it. Very nice. Favourite scene from Helsing is when the seal on his power gets fully released. Always epic to watch. <laughs> Does he go like crazy mode? <laughs> that sounds cool. 
Valuable. We got a shield. Okay, I need to get thrown up there, please. Throw me up. Very nice. Okay. Where was I going? I think I was going this way. I think. There's a marker there that's very close to me. That might be the Mogsworth one. Maybe I'll just go ahead and check it out since I'm so close to it anyway. Why not? Literally like right here. Let's open this treasure. Princely powder. I don't know what that stuff does, but sure. Why not, I guess? Let's open this one. Oh, there's a cutscene. Mia receives an Admiral's platter. Increases all stats. Favourite food of Admiral Mogsworth. Halt! Uh-oh. I've been spotted. <laughs> He's found me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Something. I think he said it's like mine or something. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Tell you what, keep the treasure. You don't want it? I mean, okay. I wouldn't say no. I'm surprised you handed it over so easily. Seeing you here, I sense that destiny is at work. We've been reunited for a bigger purpose, and I believe I know what it is. You see, my reputation as a treasure hunter is in dire need of an upswing. Yes, I know that. <laughs> and to that end, I'm scouring these lands on the lookout for loot. I'll have you know, I've had my eye on this particular piece for some time. Seeing you beat me to it was a wake-up call. I need a worthwhile adversary against whom I can better myself with stiff competition. I'm talking about you, Mia. I hereby challenge you to a treasure hunt. Okay, defeat me and all my treasures shall be yours. If you're game, meet me at Cold Shoulder Central... S oh, that's in another area. Why back there? Ugh, okay. <laughs> that's random. What is this? Pirate's Provisions and a Chimera Wing. Okay. Contains supplies such as food and drinking water. Thanks, I guess? I don't know why I have to go to a completely different area to com continue with this quest, so it might be a while because I don't really want to go back to that area right now, but, you know, at least I um, saw what all the hubbuzz and the fuss was about, I suppose. Alright, we're going to go over here and get this restaurant, which I'm actually looking forward to getting. There's a treasure around here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it kind of went into combat there so I think you can't search for it when you're in combat ah here it is it's here somewhere Let's see if we can find it whereabouts are we looking here so it's near one of those piles like stone piles it looks similar to this oh wow that was closer than I expected <laughs> they're usually a bit further away than that <laughs> but all right then I'll take it. Thank you very much. Monokuma? What's Monokuna? The funniest part is that he uses to a Guardian deck, one of the worst decks of all time. Oh no. <laughs> How did that happen? I have no idea. Um, so I don't think it's that one. Which one? This one. Then we need to go towards this one. Let's keep going in this direction. And I think we will be able to invite this person. But she might ask us to get some kind of ingredient or something though but it shouldn't be too bad oh god the monsters around this area are very high leveled it's a wow it's a slime chef i love it that is awesome <laughs> she looks amazing i love it when i'm surrounded by nature such as this i am sure to find some wonderful ingredients what have we here? I beg your pardon, I did not see you. What is a petite filly like you doing in such a dangerous place? I would run home right away if I were you. Unless you came here to see me, how can I be of service? Come and open a canteen. A canteen, you say? Then you are in luck. And you must be a member of the gang that's taken over Trans Railway, railway Building. Yes, I have many fond memories. So many memories. I would love to cook for you, but a great chef cannot cook alone. I need a team to help me. Let me think, what monster could I use? Let's see, um... Oh, you want the little ham sandwich thing, I think. You should be able to find one right here. Usually hang around this area. You don't have to add it to your party as long as the little one has been recruited to your gang. 
Oh, I've already got one. Sweet. So we can just get you straight away. A great chef cannot cook alone. Yep. I think I've got one already. So, yay. <laughs> I guess you're just gonna, like, just come straight into my, into my, like, base then. You have? Now my kitchen will run like a well-oiled machine. Without further ado, I will make my way to your base. Yay! Happy times. I just gotta wait for you, I think. Surely get everything before I arrive. I expect to see you there. Find the Citrian talent. Oh, I think that's the, the, the stone, isn't it? Oh, there is a... There is a chest. That was, like, the easiest one to recruit because I already, like, had everything she needed. So that was cool. How does one cook with no arms? Well, like, you know, when she, like, rolls the dough, she just, like, she just, like, flops on top of it and just, like, squishes it. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she just squishes it with her body <laughs> instead of using her hands. That's what she does, I'm sure. I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> Looks like a fun game. I've only ever played turn-based Dragon Quests so far. I've played, I've played like a few of the turn-based ones, but I've played Heroes as well and Builders, and those were more action type games. So I played a few kind of different types. This is a very different Dragon Quest game. Definitely very gift different. But yeah, most of the mainline games are turn-based, aren't they? For sure. This is a really strong area. Level 37, like, what the heck? That's really strong. I don't know if I should be here. <laughs> maybe we should... Maybe we should go somewhere else. Let's just ride away. Oh, there's treasure and it's like right here. I guess we will search for it before we go. Just have to hope I don't go too close to the monsters. Because <laughs> that would be really bad. Alright, so it's right next to a tree. Uh, it looks like this tree. Does it not? Yep, it's right here. That was a really easy find. <laughs> Yay. Is Heroes on the Switch? I don't know. I'm not actually sure if it is. I don't think it is, actually. I don't know. It's gotta be One of my favourite things to do in Pathfinder is go to Hunter, Azata, then you have two animal companions. That does sound cool. Having animal companions is pretty fun. It's pretty far away. Pretty far away, okay. Um... Let's head to... I'm going to head to those objectives over that way. Up where those little... I don't know what that is. A little outpost place. It's probably a railway system or something. I haven't found many of those balloons either. Not that I've really been paying that much attention to them, to be honest. How are the monsters level 44 out here? Like, what? They're so strong. I don't know if I'm ready for this area. I hope they don't wake up because I'm going to be in a whole bunch of trouble if they do. I'm going to dig up this treasure. <laughs> it's just like right here in this little mound. I suppose that makes sense. It's like a little spade there and everything. <laughs> Yay! We got it! Very nice. Let's continue onwards. I don't want to spend too much time out here. If I can help it. I feel a bit nervous about being in this area. Oh, there's a treasure here as well. What have we got? Where's it at? Let's find out. It's near a big willow tree looking thing. Or it looked like one anyway. Um, is there any other trees around here? I mean, there's a tree right here, but I don't know if it's this one. Oh, it is this one. Okay, cool. <laughs> Not too bad to find. Uh, are they worthwhile though? I suppose it depends on if you like those kind of games because Heroes is a hack and slash game so if you like Dynasty Warriors and those kind of games then you would definitely like it for sure. Uh, this game is a bit of a weird game so like I'm not really sure. I guess if you liked open world games and exploring around and stuff then you would like it. It doesn't have it, the storyline is kind of simple though, so don't really get it for the storyline, as I am finding out. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite quite satisfying collecting all the treasures and stuff. It's like you can kind of build up your your gang level and get little bonuses and stuff for doing it. Ta-da! I'm actually full with treasure now, so I'm gonna have to go 
back to base soon, but I'm so close to these objectives down here that I want to go towards these first before I leave, but yeah, I can't get any more treasure, which is really annoying. I wish I could get some more, but never mind. Just have to ignore everything for now. But we're going to head up here, so how close we are. I want to see if I can restore the train system. This is a really nice looking area with all the little little like lakes and water little bits. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Or as nice as you can get on a Switch game, <laughs> I guess you could say. The render distance is terrible in this game, like the pop-in is really bad. <laughs> like stuff pops in when you're like close to it. It's kind of, kind of a bit of a shame actually. So there's a quest down here with Gale and hopefully I can restore this station master. I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't have the glumpets. I can hand over the sanguinite. How many of these do I need? Six. I haven't got any. Oh no. I'm gonna have to like look around this area a little bit, see if I can actually find some. They're the mushrooms, I think. Oh boy. It's gonna be a bit of a pain to get home. You know, um, it would be much easier if we could just... A rival gang is on your tail? Oh, okay, I should probably head home. Yeah, let's head home. Uh, we're gonna go and sort out this ri rifle gang. I'm being attacked. <laughs> gang war is coming. <laughs> oh no. You didn't like Xenoblade? Ah. Uh, yeah, there, there seems to be a thing where you either love it or hate it. I, I liked it when I played it, but I never finished it. It's such a long game. <laughs> that is weird. Soft sp serve spook statue. <laughs> like an ice cream weird looking ghost kind of weird looking scale shield Ooh, he looks cool little demon elf thing probably from a dragon quest game a royal advisor to the demon king cool bunny tail and we got this random dress is that a jester dress magical skirt it's kind of cool looking we got multi-heal card, lots of little slime creatures and things. Nice. Ooh. Is this from Eleven? Is this one of those little dragon right. little people? There was like a fish island, wasn't there? I feel like there was. Descendant of a Wandering Warrior. I don't think this is Eleven, actually. No, it's not. This is a different game. I don't know what that's from. A male mage statue. Cool. <laughs> he reminds me of... Yoshi from Dragon Ball a little bit. <laughs> Master Yoshi. Alright. But, you know, it's the same artist, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty. I got some special treasure. Very cool. This is the King's Confident that are from... Oh, that's from 10? I see. I didn't get very far in the first one before quitting. I like quitting because I hated it. I mean... Not because of difficulty. Ah, I see. Right, yeah. You, did you just like not know the... Not know the, um... The thing. Did I say Yoshi? I meant Roshi. I, I knew, I'm, you knew what I meant anyway. <laughs> Farming bu bunny tails in Dragon Quest XI is the worst part of it. I never did that. What do you do that for? Is it for like XP or something? So I never actually did farm bunny tails in that game. Wasn't I being attacked? By a gang? You can find some That's why I came home. Huh, weird. Maybe that was something else? I don't know what that was about. I have no idea. Anyway, it's fine. We're going to add this can canteen to the base. Have you heard? Madame Blankman sh arrived a short while ago. Yay. It's time for the grand opening. Here she is. The canteen is ready, canteen is ready to open. Wonderful! I will open the canteen right here. Yay! She's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner at my base. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go see where she sets up shop. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling rather peckish. If you ever want to order anything, let me know. Though she probably just goes into the, the menu, I'm assuming. I don't know. The only thing left is the shopkeeper. Yeah, go to the canteen. So now we can like do some cooking 
This is well worth Bring ingredients knowing. to to Madame Blancmange at the canteen and she'll whip up some delicious stat boosting dishes. You can expand the culinary repertoire by bringing her recipes. I do wish she actually like had a little shop in the town, so I don't think she does, which is really disappointing actually. That would have been so better than just going into like a menu. It doesn't feel very exciting just seeing a random menu popping up though. That's the only downside to this. Let's cook something. Bon We're cooking this like steak thing. Shark tooth steak. Looks very delicious. nice. Um, and that was for the saber cat. They all have different like likes I think. I don't know who likes this one though. Guess you have to make them to find out bon who the favourite is for this one. So this is a favourite dish of Looks Hades delicious. Condor. That's cool. It's cool how they all have like different likes and stuff. Very cool indeed. Um, I think I can buy some as well. Buy some salads. Let's buy a salad. It doesn't... Oh, more information. Oh, this is for the King Slime. This is for the Saber Cat. The Orc. Hades Condor. Slime. Lost Leader? I don't know what that is. Draki, Gigantes, Shadow, it's another leader, I don't know. I guess I could buy this because my save. I do use the Saber Cat. I don't seem to have any other, any other ones there. There's no like dish for the dragon or anything. Kind of weird, but okay. But yeah, got a few dishes there, so that was very nice. I uh, should probably check out the recruitment list. Welcome to See if there's anything new on the recruiting. So I did like I lost my I lost my pig thing to get the to get that person into my town. So <laughs> that kind of sucked a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna get Aqua when I have enough supplies. I think that's about it for now, though. Let's go into the dis dispatch because those are probably. Those are probably back by now, I would assume. So that's cool. Rivals will target you while you're out, and after getting close enough, they will ambush and battle you. I thought that something was ambushing me. I don't know. <laughs> Very strange. Bonnie tails give a 1% to all drops. Oh, it gets rare drops. Oh, I never even I never even bothered with it. <laughs> I guess it's an optional thing, unless you want to be like super OP or something. If you like this game, you may like the main Dragon Quest title. Eleven was one of my favourite. I have played Eleven. I streamed Eleven, like, when it first came out. <laughs> I haven't played the the definitive edition thing that they made, though. I haven't played that one. But yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven was a lot of fun. The other Dragon Quest games are a bit hard to get hold of, so I don't have a, a DS, and most of them that were on DS... Um, well, on the DS, so yeah, kind of sucks. I, I do want to play the other ones, but yeah, they're just a bit of a pain to play. I'm hoping that they like remake them and port sure? them or something. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be very cool. Okay, let's send those out and try to find a good ratio for these guys. 33% is all I've got. That's not really that great, but whatever. <laughs> Mainly for seed farming. Oh, I see. Yeah, I never bothered with that. <laughs> Expensive at this go. point too. That's true. Um, I got 100%. Oh yeah, 100% in this area. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I don't want to form my team. We're fine. Sending? The team is all sure? good. Go Out go. they go. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. All right, so those have all been what dispatched. So that's good. I got fresh milk, a new ingredient. But yeah, like, my town is still like pretty run down. I reckon there's got to be some more stuff that you can make in the town. It's like, it's all crumbled and there's got to be like a building here. Like, I wonder what this is going to be. There's no way it's just going to be left like this. There's another one on the opposite side as well. So I'm assuming eventually you will get to like build, build up these areas. That would be really nice to see actually. I would love to, I would love to see that happening. Let's see, um, adventure quest. How am I doing on these? I'm still only on one out of five. I need to go and do that, like, sometime. But, you know, I'll get it eventually. Just takes a little bit to, to do. I really want to do, hopefully, the next part of this storyline, if I can. <laughs> That'd be awesome. 
Remember when you got that message, metal detected or whatever it said? It said quest failed because you ran out of time. I got that message too because the treasure maps you find have time limits. Oh really? Is that what it was? I didn't realise they had time limits on them. Like I didn't want to like skip to that area because I was kind of just like going in order kind of thing. And that seemed like a really like far out area that I got the map for. So that sucks. I would have gone and done that if I had have known that's what it was. Treasure maps. The, I, I still, no, my, I don't think it was that. So I still have the treasure map. I only ever found one. Are you sure it was for that? Are you sure it wasn't for something else? It's really weird. Got a ton of quests, man. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> There's so much going on. So many quests. Uh, yeah, I've only got the the store left to do for those two. Um, so quest-wise, let's have a look at what I've got going on here. I want to go back down here. It's kind of annoying that I kind of oh, there's one up there too. Oh, that's a station master one. Train expert. This is a different island, is it not? I think it is. Yeah, that's a different different island. It seems very close to me though. Um, I'm going to is it that one over there? I think it's that one over there. I'm going to go back over to to that one. See if I can do... There was a quest down there with Gail and I also want to pick up as many mushrooms as I can on the way because there was a... There was like... I needed them to fix up the the train station. Where are you guys going? What, what are you guys doing? Oh, there's like treasure just everywhere. I need to throw myself up here. All right, there you go. I have to admit though, this game is kind of repetitive. <laughs> it really is. You kind of just... Oh, rude. <laughs> you kind of just do like the same kind of thing over and over. Like after you like truly get into it. So it does have... It does have a repetitiveness to it a little bit. Here is the US for me anyway. When they release a previously, previously unreleased ones here on the DS. Hmm. 8 and 11 came out the same time in Japan. Sometimes they don't even um, release the Dragon Quest game out games outside of Japan, right? Like they did with, with 10. <laughs> Crazy stuff. What do strength seeds do? I think they raise your stats, the seeds do, don't they? I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I played, but <laughs> pretty sure that's what they do. What have we got here? Some evolution things. There is some treasure around here somewhere. I'm trying to work out exactly where it is. Be over this way, some some place. Down here. Oh, down here. I guess the other one was above. So maybe I should have stayed up there. But never mind. <laughs> it's okay. You have multiple treasure maps, and like I said, I got the same message that pops up for you. I thought the same thing, I didn't want to go to an area I wasn't ready for. Oh, but I don't remember picking up any other treasure map, though. That's why I thought it wasn't that one, because I thought I only ever picked up one, and it already said that I failed it, so that's why I thought that it wasn't the same thing. But I don't know, maybe I picked up another one and I just didn't realise it. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I gotta go up even, even further. It seems there is another treasure ahead. Climb up this way. Uh, it can't be. F it's further. Oh my god, it's on top of this thing. How the heck do you get up there, though? Okay. Throw me! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I fell right down. That was not meant to happen. I guess I can climb it from this side. Probably. Climb up there. Come on, you can do it. You can make it. Or not. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Let's climb on my little thing here. So it's got to be up here, I think. I think it's all the way up here. Who put this up here? <laughs> it's almost as bad as me <laughs> when I put treasure in these really random locations. <laughs> oh my god. Ta-da! We got it. 10 didn't come out because they didn't want to make servers for it overseas. Ah, I see. Shall I put a treasure up here as well? I'm gonna put a treasure right up here. Oh, I can't. I can't put any more hiding places down. 
That sucks. Oh, look. There's a balloon right there. Nice. <laughs> I found my second one. They're kind of hard to find because I haven't seen many of those. Actually. Somebody's bound to have put out some kind of like collectible map for those for those things. Is that one all the way over there in the distance? I'm not sure if that is. Could always go check it out, I guess. Oh, we should probably glide down from here. Also, I'd probably take full damage. That would be bad. I see another one up there as well, hanging off of that skeleton thing. So I might grab that one too. Now I'm a bit too far away to uh, grab it from here, I think. Let's drop down here, get this treasure. Very nice. Okay. Ta-da! This is a nice adventure for Mia, considering what happens later in her life. Are you talking about events in Who Dragon Quest XI? But yeah, I suppose so. It's nice and whimsical. She doesn't have to worry about too much. Do you see that up there? I can't get it from here though. <laughs> My slingshot doesn't have that much range. I've got to get like really close to it. How am I even supposed to get it from here though? All the way over there. Can I hit it from here? I can't hit it from here. <laughs> no, I'll have to like... I think I'll have to go up the sky lift. Let's go up the sky lift. See if I can get it. You hate MMOs? I like MMOs. I I like have had a great time with some MMOs. There's the other one. Very nice. My favourite right now is obviously Final Fantasy XIV. I love that game. The game's amazing. I've spent so much time on this on that game. <laughs> the battles are fun. It was an online Dragon Quest then? I wasn't aware. Yeah, I think it was. It was basically an MMO Dragon Quest. I really want to try it. I hope that they do bring it over. Because I would love to try that. There we go. How many How many of those have I got now? I must have at least got like four of them by now. So that's cool. Just got to keep my eyes peeled for lots of balloons. It's gotta be worth a So fortune. I can strike them all down. That would be awesome. <laughs> There's a supposedly a treasure nearby. I don't know where though, but it's fine. I'm not like spending too long looking around for these things. I'm finding plenty of silver treasure anyway. I'll just pick these up as I find them. Ta-da! Yay! I like the music that it plays. Whoa. It just Ooh. it makes it sound like such a feat. Like you're finding something awesome. Though <laughs> you're not really finding like that much really. It's just for your vault. <laughs> but still, makes it feel like something spectacular is happening. Which way do we need to go from here? Like where actually am I? So I don't actually know where I am. I wanna go to that marker over there. So I'm kind of going in the wrong way. Yeah, kind of going in the wrong direction here. God, there's so many of these. My my treasure boxes are nearly full at uh, this rate. Oh look, and there's another one down there too. But I think that might be an online one. I'm not really sure. I guess I could just go and put these back into the the base, I guess. Alright, let's grab this one too. Ta-da! So I think I'm kind of close to the base anyway. So that'll be fine. It's free to play? Oh, the sky of the, yeah, the children of light. I know you really like that game, don't you? It's kind of like the journey, isn't it? I never really played the journey, though. Did you like the journey as well, um, Evie, if you liked that game? I wouldn't be surprised if you, you were really into the journey, too. And those kind of, like, those kind of games. They do look quite relaxing, definitely. All right, let's climb the sky lift and bring all our treasure home. We might as well. Oh my god, look at all these. All the replicas are back. So many replicas. It's kind of crazy how many of those there are. Alright, let's go back up. I'm not sure if they're worth it though. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they really give you that much. Let's go back to the base. To the base we go. You want to play Journey really badly? Why don't you? Like, it's probably pretty cheap at this point. 
Online, online makes lets you make a party of user-submitted party members when you don't want to actually make a party with others. Hmm, I see. Why did they choose such a random person from Eleven for the game's main character? I, I don't know. Eric. I mean, it's not just Mia, it's Eric and Mia. There's, there's two main characters for this game. <laughs> And I guess they chose them being I guess they chose both of them because they are siblings, so I would assume that would be why they picked both. They kind of tie in together. Got a berserker statue. Random, some pepper. A basket. Medicinal herb. Tombola ticket. Random. Like some kind of lucky draw. Rainbow rock. I think I've seen this monster in one of the games. Pretty sure I did. And some dragon, which looks super cool. I like that dragon. The dragon is awesome. There we go. Nice bit of moolahs. Considering all we know of Dragon Quest Twelve is that it's called Fames of Fate, it's a bit early to say what it's going to be like. There's a Dragon Quest Twelve coming? I didn't even know there was. Ooh, hello. We have a random visitor. On our base. <laughs> Let's see if we can give him some lights for his lava rocks. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna beat my high score again. I was on 130 last time. Go 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 go! I don't know if I'm gonna beat it. No! I didn't beat it! <laughs> that was terrible. I wanted to get 100 and like more than 100 and I think it was 138 is my high score. <laughs> but sadly I it didn't get any more this time around. Sad times. <laughs> it's okay though. We did okay, I think. Okay, well, I bring a lot of treasure home, so that was cool. Hello, how's it going? Let's see what recruits we've got going on here. What have we got? Anything? Uh, no, not really. Nothing I'm really that interested in. We got some little treasures and stuff down here. I don't think I really got anything else I can show on these, can I? I could put a bodkin on if I wanted to. That'd be kind of cool. But some very random items for my plimps. <laughs> Tombola is a mini game in Dragon Quest V. Ah, oh, really? Is it like the lottery? So it kind of looked like the lottery or something, right? But yeah, um, you can also be Eric. Because um, you said Mia was a weird character, but you can also be Eric. You can sw switch to him. <laughs> Journey and Sky take place in the same world. Oh, really? Aha. Uh -huh. Mosey, do you have Journey? I don't. I don't know if they've given it on PS Plus or like Games for Gold, maybe. But I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people in Japan wanted Mia to be playable in Eleven. Maybe that influenced it. Ah, maybe. Maybe I didn't know that, but yeah, possibly could be a uh, could be a thing. Okay, I think I'm done for tonight. I've streamed for like four hours at this point. I made quite a lot of progress, I would say. Managed to unlock uh, two new facilities. We got the pellet maker and also the chef in the base now, which is cool. And the gang wars are pretty cool. I want to do another gang war, but. They don't seem to pop up as often as I would like. <laughs> I thought there was one so I came rushing back but there isn't one. Sad times. But that's okay. And uh, we did one part of the main story as well. Got one of the dragon stones. So that was pretty good. I won't be streaming tomorrow because I am out with family tomorrow. I have like a little family get together thing that I'm doing so I won't be back in time to stream tomorrow, but I will stream on Monday, um, same time as usual. So yeah, it would be cool to stream some more on Monday. That would be awesome. Looks more like Rune Factory 4 than I thought. I don't know what exactly you are meaning there. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Marco. I'm sure I will. <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely night. I will see you again on Monday, hopefully. Night night.